بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه ده فكنا بنتكلم ايه تعالى كده نريكاب اللي قلناه كده من الصبح لحد ما وصلنا لحد هنا كنا بنتكلم عن شوية ماثيماتكس برنسبلز مهمة في الماشين ليرنينج والارتفيشال انتليجنس عموما قلنا ان هم ثلاث انواع اللي هنفوكس عليهم النهارده ان شاء الله اللينير الجبرا بروبابيلتي ثيري يعني انفورميشن ثيري وحاجه اسمها الاي اوبتمايزيشن بروبلمز كويس ادينا ماشيين مع بعض وربنا يدبر الامر عنده سبحانه وتعالى نشوف هنمشي ازاي ان شاء الله تكلمنا عن الجبرا قلنا ايه هي وعرفنا عرفنا الفرق بين السكيلر والفيكتور والماتريكس والتنسر وبعدين اتكلمنا عن ان الفيكتور بيهمنا في حتتين الجبريك الجبريك بوينت اوف فيو وجيومتريك بوينت اوف فيو كويس عرفنا السكيلر بنمبر بعمله ازاي شكل الريبريزنتيشن بتاع الفيكتور وبعدين عرفنا بنعمل الماتريكس بنمبر ازاي ايه واتكلمنا عن التنسور وزي البريزيشن بتاعه ايه وعارفين ان احنا اكتر من 3 دي اصلا بيبقى صعب على التصور البشري لكن الصوره دي ما شاء الله ايه يعني ايه موفقه بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى جدا يعني بعد كده ايه بدانا بقى نتكلم ازاي عملنا التنسور بال 3 دي دول كانوا 3 دي اه بالنمباي وبعدين ايه شويه بقى بيزك اوبريشنز كويس السكيلر وماتريكس جمع فيكتور وماتريكس جمع ماتريكس وماتريكس جمع بعدين الضرب سكيلر وماتريكس ماتريكس وفيكتور قلنا ان ده الدوت برودكت والكروس برودكت كان له فيديو ممكن في حين نبقى نزوده هنا بعد بعد السيل دي يجي وقته فعلا يبقى كويس ان شاء الله يعني اد كروس برودكت هو كده احنا كنا اتكلمنا عنه الحمد لله زي ما قلت هو النهارده يعني ايه احنا ايه واحده واحده ان شاء الله ونفس طويل وربنا يسترنا سبحانه وتعالى ونوصل على خير يا رب ان شاء الله تعالى. ذن اه دخلنا بقى على الايدنتيتي ماتريكس والانفرس ماتريكس كويس <تصفيق> وقلنا ان مش شرط يبقى عندي انفرس ماتريكس لكل حاجه وبعدين بدأنا نتكلم عن اللينير كومباينيشن وريبريزنت الاوبريشنز اللي بتتم عندي في صوره ايكويشنز عرفنا عشان الايكويشنز دي يبقى ليها شوط معينه كده ان تبقى لينير ايه المطلوب وان ان تبقى من لينير للينير وان يبقى بتمر كل لاينز بالاوريجن و عرفنا لينير ديبندنت ولينير اندبندنت او لينير ديبندنس اندبندنت فيكتورز يعني او لينير اندبندنس او لينير ديبندنس قلنا ان انا ببص للماتريكس بتاعتي او التنسر انها مجموعه فيكتورز وشوف انا عقلك الفيكتورز دي مع بعضها بهدف ايه هنشوف حالا ان شاء الله كمان شويه صغيرين كده زي على سبيل المثال ان انا اريبريزنت اري ريبريزنت اري بريزنت التنسر في صوره ابسط شويه في العدد عدد الفيكتورز وكده يفرق في الاستورج والافشنسي اوف بروسيسنج وهكذا ذن قلنا بقى لينير ديبندنس وليه ايه ليه هو مشكله انا لو هو لو عندي الفيكتور ده ديبندنت على الثلاثه دول طب ما انا ريبريزنت يا اما ده يا اما الثلاثه كويس مش لازم ايه ريبريزنت ده والثلاثه فدي كانت الفكره يعني خدنا اكزامبل للديبندنس اللي هو ايه ان كان في إيه علاقه كان ده في الاكزامبل اللي فوق هنا قلنا ان دبليو بيساوي 2 في زائد يو ايه وعرفنا الرانك الكولم رانك والفيكتور رانك باختصار الرانك هو اكبر عدد سواء في الكولم او على الرو المهم ان هي ايه تبقى لينيرلي اندبندنت فيكتورز سواء في الرو او في الكولم ده اكزامبل كده بيبروف النظريتين دول واللينك دي اصلا موجوده حاططها تحت شويه بس انا باخد منها الايه اللي اللي يخصنا احنا يعني ذن بدانا نتكلم عن لينير ايكويشنز ان انا ريبريزنت السيستمز بتاعتي في صوره صوره في صوره ايكويشنز كويس تمام الايكويشنز ده مهم شويتين ليه مهم لان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والشكر لله والله الايكويشنز ده مهم لان انا ايه عايز اوصل بقى للسوليوشن للايكويشنز دي كويس او السيستم بتاعنا ده آه عندي سوليوشن من ثلاثه يا اما نو سوليوشن يا اما وان يونيك سوليوشن يا اما انفاينيت نمبر اوف سوليوشن وايه كان فيها اللي ال بصينا كده عليها كان فيها الايه السوليوشنز دي اللي هم لو لو خطين متوازيين لو متقاطعين لو ايه اوفرلابنج مع بعض بعد كده الدياجون الماتريكس تعرفنا عليها والسيمتريك ماتريكس وقلنا ان عندي حاجه اسمها سيمتريك وحاجه اسمها سكيو سيمتريك صح؟ جاي حالا ان شاء الله متهيألي. وترانسبوز بنحسبه ازاي او بنجيبه ازاي وبعد كده الايه الماتريكس فيكتور دوت اند كروس برودكت وابقى بشوف الفيديو ده هو كويس كان دوت برودكت فيه باستفاضه يعني ذن وقفنا عند لينا ترانسفورميشنز قلنا بقى ان ايه عشان افهم اصلا الايجن فاليوز والايجن فيكتورز محتاج اعرف شويه حاجات كده زي محتاج اعرف اللينير ترانسفورميشن هو ايه اصلا ولينير كومباينيشنز والسبان والبيزز فيكتورز ولينير اندبندنس ليه هو مهم وبعدين شفنا شويه فيجواليزيشنز كده حسبناها بايدينا الحمد لله والشكر لله بعدين عرفنا ان الديتيرمنت ده مهم عندي في الفوليوم 
اوف ترانسفورميشن كويس لو ديتيرمنت بصفر هيسكواش الفوليوم عشان كده ايه كلمه لو المحدد بصفر كويس بيبقى الوضع مختلف تماما يعني آه بعد كده بقى الايجن فيكتورز والايجن فاليوز انا في الحقيقه بس مش عارف آه الناس ما جاتش لغايه دلوقتي لسه مش عارف ليه لكن طبعا انا مضطر ابدا واكمل مش عايز الفيديوهات تخليكم ايه تركنوا عليها لان للاسف في اتندنس وكده مش قصدي برضه اتندنس انا انا بزعل بيقولوا الجمله دي بس انا انا بس بوضح ان انا ايه انا حاطط اتندنس زي ما هو كويس عشان ما حدش يقول لي ايه انا اتحرمت الامتحان وبتاع والكلام اللي بتقعدوا تقولوه ده يعني اللي بعضكم بيقولوا ان هم مش موجودين اللي اصلا ما بيقولوهوش اتفضلي ايه قولي سؤالك يا ايه اتفضلي هو انتوا ايه اتفضلي ايه انا مش سامع حضرتك طب ايه بس في حاجه تيجي على الواتساب لو سمحتي انت عامله ان ميوت بس الصوت مش طالع عندي خالص طيب انتوا سامعيني صح بعد كده لو حد سمعني يرفع ايده مش خلاص بقى نشغل الفيديوز ونكمل يا دكتور كده الصوت واضح كده الصوت ظهر يا ايه اتفضلي تمام يا حازم تمام تسليم شكرا جزيلا شكرا يا اندر طالبه بس حضرتك تعيد البيجيه بتاعت الترمند الثاني عشان انا مش فاهمه في ال الكود ازاي طلعت سالب 2 لا لا ما موضوع الكود ازاي ده مش قضيتنا انا مش قضيت احسب كالكوليشن الديرمنت النهارده خالص كويس تمام هو راجل في الفيديو مشكورا كان شرحها ووضحها بالمناسبه هنا الاول هم هي دي الشيب بتاعها 3 2 2 فيها طلع معايا ثلاث قيم على الاكس وعلى الواي وعلى الزد كويس الديرمنت على الاكس وعلى الواي وعلى الزد النسبه طلعت بسالب ازاي وقالها في الفيديو هو في الفيديو قال ان بتاع الديرمنت بيطلع بسالب لما تلف كويس على سبيل المثال لو انا عندي الاكس والواي كان الاي هات على اليمين والجي هات واقف فوق لو الاي هات بقى على شمال الجي هات كده ايه الـ 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 الدومين بتاعي لف يعني لو انا إيه عامل الاكس والواي والزد بايدي اليمين عشان ريبريزنت نفس الشكل لازم اعمله بايدي الشمال كده معناه ان هو لف مني فكلمه لف دي معناها حصل فيه ايه؟ مش بقى روتيشن عادي حصل فيه انفرس كويس؟ فلما يلف يطلع معايا بالسالب هو دي شيء قالها في الفيديو هي ايه معلش ايه انا مش هحسب خالص مش هكلم خالص في الكالكوليشنز ده انا قصدي ان اقول لحضرتك ان انت اصلا يعني عارف الكالكوليشن دي مجرد معرفه حلو انما إيه انما اسمه ايه ده؟ الموضوع اصلا بالنسبه لنا ككود ما شاء الله سهل جدا وده على فكره عامل اشكال دلوقتي الناس كتير جدا بتبقى عارفه الكود بتاع الحاجه لكن هي سبحان الله مش عارفه الطبيعه بتاعتها واستخدامها في ايه مش مهم تعرف هي جت منين قوي تمام انا مهم تعرف هي اهميتها في ايه اهميتها في الديرمنت في الفوليوم بتاعي كويس انا كده هعرف ان هو لما اشوف ديتيرمنت هنا بالسالب معناها ان هو لف لف يعني ايه كانك ماسكه ورقه يا ايه وكاتبه على وشها ايه بتبقى بتبص للورقه دي من ظهرها كويس فده كلمه لف فهمتي قصدي؟ تمام؟ ان فهو لف فعشان كده مدي سالب كويس انما هي ستيل ايه بقى؟ ستيل ب انما ستيل الفوليوم كبر باثنين. وصلت لك كده؟ تمام واشوف الفيديو ان شاء الله ايه هيبقى واضح جدا بالنسبه لك ان شاء الله. وسامحيني ايه معلش الكالكوليشنز دي حاجه يعني ايه؟ هي اوت اوف سكوب بالنسبه لي يعني بالنسبه لنا للكورس يعني. تحت امر حضراتكم جميعا. تحت امرك ايه؟ ان شاء الله. طيب نخش على ايه؟ جزء لطيف جدا ان شاء الله تعالى ربنا يجيبه فايده يا رب الايجن فاليز والايجن فيكتورز. هو اخر جزء بالنسبه لنا في الايه؟ في ال يونت ترانسفورميشنز بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. values is one of those topics that a lot of students find particularly unintuitive. Questions like, why are we doing this, and what does this actually mean, are too often left just floating away in an unanswered sea of computations. And as I put out the videos of this series, a lot of you have commented about looking forward to visualizing this topic in particular. I suspect that the reason for this is not so much that eigenthings are particularly complicated or poorly explained. In fact, it's comparatively straightforward, and I think most folks do a fine job explaining it. The issue is that it only really makes sense if you have a solid visual understanding for many of the topics that precede it. Most important here is that you know how to think about matrices as linear transformations, but you also need to be comfortable with things like determinants, linear systems of equations, and change of basis. Confusion about eigenstuffs usually has more to do with a shaky foundation in one of these topics than it does with eigenvectors and eigenvalues themselves. To start, to start, consider some linear, linear transformation in two dimensions, like the, like the one shown here. here. It moves the basis vector i hat to the coordinates 0, 0, and j hat to 1, 2. 
So it's represented with a matrix whose columns are 3, 0, and 1, 2. Focusing on what it does to one particular vector, and think about the span of that vector, the line passing through its origin and its fit. Most vectors are going to get knocked off their span during the transformation. I mean, I mean, it would seem pretty coincidental if the place, if the place where the vector landed, landed also, also happens to be somewhere, somewhere on that line. line. But, some but some special, special vectors, vectors do remain, remain on, their on, their on their own span, span. meaning the effect that the matrix, matrix has, has on such, on such a, vector a vector is just to stretch it or squish it, it like a scalar. For this For specific, specific example, example, the basis, the basis vector, vector I had is one such special vector. The span, the span of i hat is the x-axis, and, and from, from the first column of the matrix, the matrix we can see that i hat, hat moves over, over to, three to three times, times itself, still, still on that x-axis. What's, What's more, because, because of the way linear, linear transformations, transformations work, any other vector, other vector on the x-axis, x -axis is, also is also just stretched by a factor of three, and hence remains on its own span. A slightly sneakier vector that remains on its own span during this transformation is negative one, one. It ends, it ends up getting stretched, stretched by a factor of two. And again, and again linearity, linearity is going to imply that any other vector, other vector on the on diagonal, diagonal line, line spanned, spanned by this guy is just going to get stretched, stretched out, by out by a factor of two. And for this transformation, those are all the vectors with this with special, special property, property of staying, staying on this band. Those on the x-axis getting stretched out by a factor of three, and those on this diagonal line getting stretched by a factor of two. Any other, Any other vector is going to get located somewhere, somewhere during the transformation, transformation. Not knocked off the line, the line that it spans. As you might have guessed by, guess by now, these special these vectors, special vectors are, called are called the eigenvectors of, of the transformation. And each eigenvector, each eigenvector has, associated has associated with it what's with called, it, called an eigenvalue, which is just the factor, just by, the factor by which it's stretched or squished during the transformation. Of course, there's of course, nothing special about special stretching about versus squishing, versus squishing or, the or the fact that these eigenvalues happen to be positive. positive. In another example, In another you can have an eigenvector, an eigenvector with eigenvalue, eigenvalue negative one half, meaning that the vector meaning gets flipped and, and squished by a factor, by a factor, of, one factor half. of one half. But the important part the important here part is that it stays on the line that it spans out without getting rotated off of it. For a glimpse of why this might be a useful thing to think about, consider some three-dimensional rotation. If you can find an eigenvector for that rotation, a vector that remains on its own span, its own span what, you have found what you have found is the axis the of rotation. And it's much and easier it's to much think about a 3D rotation, about a 3D rotation in terms of some terms axis, of, some rotation axis of, rotation of rotation and an angle, and by, angle by which it's rotating, rather than thinking rather about than the full 3x3 three 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 matrix, matrix associated, associated with, with, that transformation. with that transformation. In this case, by, the, this way, case, the, by the way, the corresponding eigenvalue would have, would have to be 1. Since rotations, since rotations never stretch or squish anything, anything. so the length of so the vector would remain the same. This pattern shows this up, pattern a, lot shows up a lot in linear algebra. With any linear, with any transformation, linear transformation described by a matrix, you could understand, you could understand what it's doing by reading off the columns of this matrix as the landing, as the landing spots, spots for basis vectors. For basis vectors. But often, but a better, often, way, to a better way to get at the heart of what the linear transformation actually does, less dependent on your particular coordinate system, system, is to find is the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. I won't, cover the, I won't cover the full details on methods for computing, methods for computing eigenvectors and eigenvectors and eigenvalues here, but I'll try to give an overview of the computational ideas that are most that important for conceptual understanding. Symbolically, Symbolically here's, what the, here's what the idea of an eigenvector looks like. A is the, a matrix, is the matrix representing some representing transformation, some with V as, as the eigenvector, and lambda, and lambda is, a number, is a number, namely the corresponding, namely the corresponding eigenvalue. eigenvalue. What this, what this expression is saying is that the matrix, that the matrix vector product, a times, v, a times v, gives the same gives result, the same as, result just as just scaling the eigenvector v, v by some value lambda. So finding the, so finding eigenvectors, the eigenvectors and their eigenvalues of the matrix A comes down to finding the values of v and lambda that make this expression true. It's a little awkward, to, a little work awkward to work with at first because that left-hand left -hand side represents matrix vector multiplication, vector multiplication but the right-hand side, right side here is scalar vector multiplication. Vector multiplication. So let's start so by rewriting, rewriting that right-hand right side as some kind of, some kind of matrix, matrix vector multiplication, multiplication. Using, a using a matrix which has the effect of scaling any vector, any vector by a factor of lambda. 
The columns of such a matrix will represent what happens in each basis vector, and each basis vector is simply multiplied by lambda. So this matrix will have the number lambda and the diagonal with zeros everywhere else. So this matrix will have the number lambda and the diagonal with zeros everywhere else. The common way to write this guy is to factor that lambda out and write it as lambda times i, where i is the identity matrix with ones down the diagonal. With both sides looking like matrix vector multiplication, we can subtract off that right hand side and factor out the v. So what we now have is a matrix a minus lambda times the identity, and we're looking for a vector v such that this new matrix times v gives the zero vector. Now, this will now, always this be true will if v itself, itself is the zero vector, but that's boring. But that's what, boring. We what we want is a non-zero non eigenvector. And if you watch and chapter 5 and 6, you'll know that the only, only way it's possible, it's possible for the product of a matrix with a non-zero vector to become zero is if the transformation associated with that matrix squishes space into a lower dimension. And that squishification corresponds to a zero determinant for the matrix. To be concrete, let's say your matrix, say your matrix a, has a has columns 2, 1, and 2, 1, 2, 3. And 2 3. And think about and think subtracting, about subtracting off a variable amount, amount lambda, from each, from each diagonal entry. Now imagine now tweaking, imagine lambda, tweaking lambda, lambda, turning a knob, turning to, change a knob to change its value. As that value, As that value lambda, lambda changes, the matrix itself, the matrix changes. itself changes. And so, the and so the determinant of the matrix changes. The goal here, the goal is, here to is to find the value of lambda that will make this determinant zero, zero. Meaning, the meaning the tweaked transformation squishes space into a lower dimension. In this case, the sweet spot comes when lambda equals one. Of course, if, of course, chosen, if some you chosen some other matrix, the eigenvalue might not necessarily be 1. The sweet spot the might be some other value of lambda. So this is kind so of a lot, but, kind of let's, a lot, unravel but let's unravel, unravel what this is saying. When lambda, when lambda one, equals 1, the matrix A minus lambda times the identity squishes space onto a line. That means there's a non-zero vector v such that A minus lambda times the identity times v equals the zero vector. And remember, and remember, the reason we care, about, care about that is because it means, because a, it means times a times v equals, equals lambda times v. Which you can read off, which as, can read off as saying that the vector v is, is an eigenvector of a, of a staying on its own span during the transformation, during the transformation a. a. In this example, the corresponding eigenvalue is 1, so v would actually, so v would just, actually stay just stay fixed in place. In place. Pause and ponder, Pause and ponder to make sure that that line of reasoning feels good. This is the kind of thing I mentioned in the introduction. If you didn't have, you a, didn't solid have a solid grasp of determinants, of determinants and why they relate why to they linear systems, systems linear equations, equations having non-zero non -zero solutions, solutions, an expression like, an expression like this, this would feel completely, would feel completely, completely, out, of completely out of the blue. To see this in action, see this in let's, action. Revisit, let's the example revisit the example from the start, from the start. with a matrix with columns of 0, 3, 1, 2. And one, two. To find if a value if lambda, a value is, lambda an is an eigenvalue, subtract it subtract from, from the diagonals of this matrix and compute the determinant. Doing this, we get a certain we quadratic, quadratic polynomial, polynomial in lambda. 3 minus lambda, three minus lambda times 2 minus lambda. Minus lambda. Minus lambda. Since lambda can Since only be an eigenvalue, eigenvalue, if this determinant happens, happens to be zero, to be zero you, can conclude you can conclude that the only possible, the only possible eigenvalues, eigenvalues are lambda equals, lambda equals two, 2 and lambda equals, and three. equals 3. To figure out what to the figure eigenvectors out what are the eigenvectors that actually are, have actually one of these eigenvalues, these eigenvalues say, lambda say lambda equals 2, lambda equals two plug in that value in of that lambda, lambda to the matrix, to the matrix and, then solve and then solve for which vectors for which this diagonally altered matrix sends to zero. If you computed this you the way you would any other linear, linear system, system, you'd see that the, see that the solutions are all the vectors, all the vectors on the diagonal line stand by negative by one. Negative one. 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 This corresponds, this corresponds to the fact that the unaltered, the unaltered matrix, matrix 3012, has the effect has of the effect stretching, of all, stretching those all those vectors by a factor of 2. Now, a 2D now, transformation, a transformation doesn't have doesn't to have, have, to have eigenvectors. For example, consider, For example, consider a rotation, consider a rotation by, 90 by 90 degrees. This doesn't have any, this doesn't have any eigenvectors, since it rotates since every, it rotates every vector, vector off, of its, off of its own span. If you actually try you computing actually try the eigenvalues the eigen of a rotation, like, a rotation this, like this, notice what happens. Notice what happens. Its matrix, its has, matrix columns has columns 0, 1, zero and, one negative one and negative zero. 1, 0. Subtract off Subtract lambda from the, the diagonal elements, diagonal elements and look for when the determinant, the determinant is, zero. is 0. 
In this case, in this you, case get the you get the polynomial lambda squared, lambda squared plus, one. plus one. The only roots the only of that polynomial, that polynomial are the imaginary, are the imaginary numbers, numbers, i and I negative i. And the fact that there the are no real, real number solutions, number solutions indicates, that there, indicates no that there are no eigenvectors. <laughs> Another pretty interesting Another pretty example, interesting worth example. holding in the back, of your, in the back of your mind, is a shear. Is a shear. This fixes this i hat in place and moves j hat one over. One over. So its matrix so has columns has columns zero, one, zero, and one, 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 one. All of the vectors All on the x-axis are eigenvectors with eigenvalue one, since they remain, since fixed, since they remain in place. fixed in place. In fact, these in are the only eigenvectors. When you subtract when you off lambda from the diagonals and compute the determinant, what you get is one, yes, minus, one lambda minus lambda squared. Lambda squared. And the only and root the of this expression, this expression is lambda, is equals, lambda one. equals one. This lines up with this what we see geometric, that geometric, all of the eigenvectors have eigenvalue, have eigenvalue, one. eigenvalue one. Keep in mind, though, Keep in mind it's, also it's also possible to have, possible to just, have one just one eigenvalue, but with more but with than more just a line full of eigenvectors. A simple example, a simple is, example a is a matrix that scales, that everything, scales by everything by two. The only eigenvalue, the only eigenvalue is, two. is two. But every but vector, every in, the vector in the plane gets to be an, gets eigenvector, to be an eigenvector with, with that, eigenvalue. that eigenvalue. Now is another now good is time another to pause and ponder some, 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 some of this before, before I move on to the last, to the last topic. topic. I want to finish off here with the idea of an eigenbase, which relies heavily on ideas from the last video. Take a look at what happens if our basis vectors just so happen to be eigenvectors. For example, maybe i hat is fixed in place, and lambda is fixed in place. Now we have two eigenvectors, and j hat is scaled by 2. Writing their new writing coordinates, their new coordinates as, the as the columns of the matrix, notice that those scalar multiples, negative one, negative 1 and 2, one and two which, are which are the eigenvalues of i hat and j hat, sit on the diagonal, the diagonal of, our matrix, of our matrix, and every other and every entry, is, entry a is a zero. Any time a matrix, time has, a matrix zeros has zeros everywhere other than the diagonal, other than the diagonal it's called, it's reasonably called, enough, reasonably a, diagonal a diagonal matrix. And the way to interpret, way to interpret this, this is that all the basis vectors, the basis vectors, are, vectors are eigenvectors, with the diagonal, with the diagonal entries, entries of this matrix, of this matrix being their eigenvalues. Their eigenvalues. There are a lot of things, things that make diagonal, diagonal matrices much, nicer to, much nicer, to work nicer to work with. One big one, one big is that it's easier that to it's compute, easier what, will compute what will happen if you multiply, if you this, multiply matrix this matrix by itself a whole bunch of, whole bunch of times. times. Since all Since one of all these matrices does, does is scale each scale basis each vector, vector by some eigenvalue, by some eigenvalue. Applying, that applying that matrix many times, many times say 100 times, is just going to correspond to scaling each basis vector by the 100 power of the corresponding eigenvalue. In contrast, try computing the 100 power of a non-diagonal matrix. Really, try it for a moment. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Of course, you'll rarely be you'll so rarely lucky be as so to have your basis vectors, have your basis vectors also be eigenvectors. eigenvectors. But if your transformation has a lot of eigenvectors, like the one from the start, like the of, this from video, the start of this video, enough so that enough you can so choose, that you can a, choose set a set that spans, that spans the full space, space. then you could change you could your change coordinate system, system so that these eigenvectors, so eigenvectors are your basis vectors. I talked about change of basis, change last, basis video, last video, but I'll go through a but super, quick, super reminder quick reminder here of how to express, how a, transformation to express a transformation currently written in our coordinate, our coordinate system, system into a different, into system. A different system. Take the coordinates, Take the of, coordinates the of the vectors that you want to use as a new basis, a new basis which in this case means, in this case our, two means our two eigenvectors. Then make those coordinates, then make those coordinates the, columns the columns of the matrix, known as the change, the of, change basis of basis matrix. matrix. When you sandwich, when you sandwich the, original the original transformation, putting the change of basis, change matrix, basis matrix on its right, on its right and, the and the inverse of the change of basis, change matrix, basis matrix on its left, on its left the, result the result will be a matrix, will be a matrix representing, representing that same transformation, but from the perspective of the new basis vector's coordinate system. The whole point the of, whole doing, point this of doing this with eigenvectors is that this, is that this new matrix is guaranteed to be diagonal with its corresponding eigenvalues down that diagonal. This is because it this represents, because it represents working, working in a coordinate system, system where what happens where to the basis, to the basis is vectors that is that they get scaled during the transformation. A set of basis vectors, which are also eigenvectors, is called, again, reasonably enough, an eigenbasis. So if, for example, you needed to compute the 100th power of this matrix, it would be much easier to change to an eigenbasis, compute the 100th power in that system, and convert back to a standard system. 
You can't do this, with, can't all do this with all transformations. Bashir, for, Bashir, example, for example, doesn't have enough, doesn't have enough eigenvectors to span, to span the full space. space. But if you can but find an eigenbasis, it makes matrix, it makes matrix operations, operations really lovely. Really lovely. For those of you willing, willing to work through a pretty puzzle, puzzle to see what this, what this looks like in action, and how it could be used, how it could be used some surprising to produce some surprising results, results. I'll, leave I'll leave up a prompt. طيب هو كان فيديو طويل شوية لكن في الحقيقة برضو للتو للتأكيد يعني أنا أكتر من تلت الفيديو مثلا مش مش مستوعبه قوي ومش مطلوب إحنا نستوعبه قوي ولا حاجة على قد ما هو يهمني بس إن إحنا الأول نجد the feeling of إيه ال eigen values وال eigen vectors وإيه أهميتها وإيه فائدتها كويس و examples عليها كتيرة يعني ايه هستعملها بقى ازاي على حسب البروبلم اللي عندي فهو اهم جزء اهم اجزاء قالها يعني من وجهه نظري المتواضعه اول حاجه لما اتكلم اصلا في الاول اللي هو الايجن فيكتور والايجن فاليو كويس اللي هي رسمه اللي هي في الاول خالص دي بصراحه اللي هي دي كويس والحته اللي بعدها يعني لما اطلعهم بقى على الفيجر دي اول حاجه الحاجه الثانيه لما اتكلم في النص ان لو عندي ايجن فاليوز وايجن فيكتورز زي ممكن بعمل حاجه اسمها الايجن بيزس وابدا بقى ان انا ايه استخدم الدياجونال ماتريكس بتاعه الايجن الاول لو هي دياجونال يعني لو الايجن فاليوز بتاعتي هي اعملها دياجونال وابدا ان انا اعمل بيها اوبريشنز والحاجه الثالثه لما ايه ختم بيها بقى من شويه ان ايه ايه بت ان انا اشتغل على الايجن فيكتورز بتاعتي بين ارجع الماتريكس الاصلها ده بقى نعمله كمان شويه ان شاء الله تعالى فدي اهم نقط النقاط اطلع بيها غير كده بقى ايه على حسب البروبلم بتاعتنا يعني طيب تعالى كده نربط الكلام ده مع بعضه شويه بقى في الاي اي عندنا إيه والمحاضره دي بقى الفيديو ده بقى اشوفه مره كمان ولا حاجه لان هو محتاج بصراحه يعني انا شغال هنا اشوفه ان شاء الله بعد بعد الليكتشر ان شاء الله ابص عليه مره واثنين كده ربنا يستر الامر من عنده طيب لو انا عايز بقى اجيب اللينير ترانسفورميشن بيزد اون بوينت زي ما قلنا لو انا عندي اصلا انبوت الانبوت ده انا عارفه ليت سبوز وي هاف ا موفينج اوبجكت في 3 دي سبيس فلو انا عرفت الاوبجكت ده في تو تايم ستامبس في وقتين غير بعض كويس لو انا عرفت مجموعه من النقاط والنقاط دي ابدا انا منها بقى ارجع ايه اعرف الترانسفورميشن اللي حصل عندي يعني فاقدر بقى انيميت الترانسفورميشن ده واقدر اجيب منه بقى البوينتس اللي هي ايه اللي هي مش مش عارفها يعني مش هقعد اتابع نقطه نقطه فانا مش بضطر مثلا انا اخزن ده واخزن ده لا انا اخزن ده واعرف ترانسفورميشن واعمل له ابلاي فيطلع لي الايه يطلع لي الريزلت يعني كويس طيب السؤال ده سؤال كان جميل جدا بصراحه يعني هل في اي ماشين ليرننج الجوريزم بيستخدم الديتيرمنت اوف اماتريكس ده حد كان ايه يعني قاعد يذاكر ديتيرمنت تقريبا كده ما اعرفش يعني بس اتوقع ذلك كويس اه <تصفيق> حلو فجاله رد لطيف يعني طب الرد ده محتاج تاكيد ساينتفكلي يعني لازم بقى سيرش عليه وكده فعشان كده ايه انا مش حطيته ما حطيتوش كونتنت حطيت بس اليو ار ال انتل وي فيريفاي ات يعني فا اه في بيقولوا ان هو الجاوسيان بروسيسيز كويس في ريجريشن بروبلمز وكده ريجريشن بقى يعني ايه ده جاي ان شاء الله في وقته يعني لما في محاضره بكره ان شاء الله تعالى نكون في الريجريشن ان شاء الله طيب التريس اوبريتور A trace of a square matrix defined by the sum of all uh, of all the elements in the main diagonal. Sum of uh, of the elements of the main diagonal. كويس. The diagonal بتاعه كويس. واحد خمسة تسعة تلاتة إيه ده ده التريس. كويس. إيه ميت التريس؟ إن التريس بتاع الماتريكس اللي هو تريس بتاع الترانسبوز بتاعها. تريس A Z B بيساوي تريس A Z تريس B. وتريس A B بيساوي تريس B. حلو فاا. حاضر حاضر معلش الله كريم طيب المهم ان هنا ايه ممكن بريميوتيت التريس تريس اي بي سي تريس سي اي بي تريس بي سي طيب تمام الايجن فاليوز والايجن فيكتورز في البايثون ودي متكرره مرتين لا مش متكرره مرتين خلي بالك لا متكرره مرتين متكررة مرتين آه نمسح واحدة أكيد وأبقى يعمل سيف وبتاع وكلام من ده ولا خليها بعدين خليها بعدين يكون إيه الإنترنت عندي بس نظبط وكده اللي بنعملها إن شاء الله طيب في الليل الألجبرا الأيجن فيكتورز والأيجن فاليوز آه أيجن فيكتور أول هو كاركترستيك أوف كاركترستيك فيكتور أوف لينيا ترانسفورميشن إز نان زيرو It changes at mostly scalar factor when the linear transformation is applied to it الأيجن الأيجن فيكتور زي ما قلنا هو فيكتور لو كاركترستيك مخصوص ان هو بيسكيل ااا بايجن فاليو حلو وزي ما قلنا هو بيمنتين اتس اي سبان زي ما في الفيديو كان كان موضح يعني فالايجن فاليو هي الفاكتور 
باي ويتش ايجن فيكتور از سكيلد وايجن فيكتور هو الايه هو الكاركترستيك اللي بيحصل له سكيلنج يعني جيوميتريكلي الايجن فيكتورز بيكورسبون تو نان زيرو ايجن فاليو حلو متجه في اتجاه ان هو متجه يعني آه ماشي لو الايجن فاليو نيجاتيف يبقى الدايركشن هيحصل له هيعكس هيحصل له ريفرس وريفرس غير انفرس كويس ريفرس يعني مشي بالعكس كانه مشي بظهره يعني <تصفيق> طيب شباب بعد اذنكم لو حد مش معانا في في الكلاس ما يدخلش في الجروب كويس تمام يعني مش عارف مين اللي باعت اي مين اللي باعت اخر حد مش مش طالع لي اسمه كويس لكن تاني لو حد مش معانا في الكلاس ما يدخلش معانا في الجروب انا ممكن اخلي اي سيتنجز الجروب دي واخليها <تصفيق> طيب هنا بقى ايه جزاه الله خيرا اللي بعده فهنا بقى ده الكود حلو اللي بي بي بيستخدم القصه دي الايجن فيكتورز والايجن والايجن فاليوز في ال اقول له ان هو زوم ميتنج اقول له ان هو زوم ميتنج عشان يعرف يخش عليه ان انا بقى ايه اعمل ترانسفورميشن على الصوره دي انا هنا مش هط مش هحتاج اغير بيكسل بيكسل ولا حاجه كويس او مش لازم اعرف الصوره لا انا بعرف ترانسفورميشن ماتريكس وبعرف الالوان بتاعتها كمان وكده باستخدام الايه جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير جميعا ااا بالاجن فيلز اجن فيكتورز بغض النظر عن اللي حصل هنا ايه احنا كان عندنا إيه الحمد لله يعني كان كورس كامل السنه اللي فاتت الحمد لله شكرا في الايمج بروسيسنج والكمبيوتر فيجن وكده مش فيجن كامل قوي يعني حته منه لكن هنا سريعا كده ده اكزامبل على الترانسفورميشنز اللي بتتم لينيرلي كويس الروتيشن والشيرنج وهكذا طيب نبدا بقى في الايه بالمناسبه ده الايفكت بتاع اللاينز الالوان حلو هنا الالوان هنا الاحمر هيزيد والازرق هيقل والاخضر يفضل زي ما هو فتطلع لي الصوره بالشكل ده كويس تمام اصل الصوره دي اللي هو موجود هنا في الفايلز لا هو بيمسحوا الفايلز فممكن اروح لكم اصل الصوره بس انتوا متخيلين هي الصوره ما كانتش كده اصلا سبحان الله الصوره مش مش عارف الاقيها ولا لا للاسف مش معايا هنا تقريبا هي دي تقريبا هي دي وهي دي ان شاء الله تعالى <تصفيق> بسم الله كويس فطبعا ايه الفرق واضح هنا ايه ده الاصل هي مش دي مش دي قوي بس هي نفس الصوره يعني مش هي لا هي دي دي بريفيو منها او حاجه زي كده لكن هتوضح لنا الفكره لان هو المسجد واحد يعني تمام <تصفيق> فالفكره ايه الفكره هنا ده دي الاصل اللون الاحمر زاد بزوده واللون الازرق قل والاخضر زي ما هو فتلاقي الاحمر زاد استبدل خالص الازرق بالاحمر والايه والاخضر فضل زي ما هو عشان الاخضر بقى ظاهر قوي هنا هنا لا انا ما عملتش كده عملت الروتيشن بتاعي 45 درجه وزودت الاخضر وسبت الاحمر زي ما هو فالاحمر وطبعا ده ده من الصوره اللي فاتت يعني هو ايه من اشتغل على دي مش بقى على دي المره دي كويس فالاحمر فضل زي ما هو وزودت الاخضر فضل الاخضر ايه لو بصينا على الاخضر كده هنا وتبص عليه هنا المفروض تلاقي فرق يعني اه مش قوي لان هو هنا اصلا ما كانش بوظ في الاخضر يعني مش هتبان قوي هنا ممكن تبان في مكان تاني لو ظهرت كل الاحوال هي عموما دي ايه دي كلها مانيبليشنز. نبدا بقى في السلايدز بتاعت واوي كويس بالراحه برضو على مهلنا وايه نفس طويل وربنا يدبرها معانا سبحانه وتعالى. انا عايز اعمل كده من ساعتها لكن ايه ما رضيتش عشان خاطر كان الفيديو شغال كان بس حد من زمايلكوا بعت بعت يسالني على حاجه فايه كنت عايز ن هو ده ايه؟ لا ده مش مهم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حاضر 
طيب هنبدا ده كده بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في السلايدز دي اول سلايد اصلا في في حاجه واو يعني فبيقول بقى ايه جاب لنا كيس ستادي الكيس دي الاولانيه ان علشان يهتموا بصحه الموظفين في شركه اي بي سي ولا اي ايا كان الشركه اسمها ايه هل هم عاملين قسم البيج داتا نظم مسابقه جري شهريه كويس اول 2018 القواعد المسابقه دي عباره عن ايه الديبارتمنت هيحط مانثلي تارجت لازم المشتركين في المسابقه في اول الشهر يخلصوا عدد الاميال دي او الكيلوات دي على على اخر الشهر يعني حلو اللي هيخلص اللي هيخلص التارجت ده هياخد جايزه اللي مش هيخلص هياخد عقوبه بانشمنت فحطوا رول كده يحسبوا بيها دبليو اي بيساوي اس اي ناقص دي اي في اكس اي خد هو اس اي ناقص دي اي ده اعتبار ان ايه اتش اي اف اكس اي ايه بقى الاس والدبليو والدي نشوف حالا ان شاء الله تعالى المانثلي تارجت والتوتال ريورد بينالتي اماونت اعتبر بقى ايه طبعا هو يعني ربنا يعافينا يعني في محتاجين تنظيم شديد للسلايدز الريورد او البينالتي اماونت اللي هي الدبليو كويس الاماونت ال ال الاخراني بتاعه خالص الدبليو هو التوتال ريورد او بينالتي اماونت زي ما قلنا في شهر اي واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة الاس اي هي التوتال مايلج اللي هو مشيها كويس الدي الدايركت التارجت اللي هو المفروض يعمله فالدي اللي هو التارجت اللي هو المفروض يعمله الاس اللي هو فعليا مشيه الدبليو اللي هو التوتال سواء كان بينالتي او ايه او او اورد او جايزه يعني طبعا لو هو مشي اكتر من المطلوب هو كده ياخد جايزه مشي اقل يبقى هو كده ايه ياخد بانشمنت يعني كويس فبالتالي بقى الايه الاتش اي اللي هو المانثلي تارجت هو الديفرنس بين الاكشوال ديستنس اللي هو مشيها والاي والتارجت اللي بيعمله كل شهر طيب والاكس هي الجايزه تمام على سبيل المثال مثلا ايه افترض يعني 3 جنيه مثلا 9 جنيه 10 جنيه ايا كان ااا فالاكتيفيتي دي ما شاء الله بقى ليها فيدباك كويسه وبتاع فقسم الكلاود عايز يعمل برده زي هو كمان فقدرت بقى ايه انا بعدي بقى موظفين اي بي سي ااا ده اخد بقى ايه الجايزه بتاعته في اول شهر 10 في ثاني شهر 8 ثالث شهر 12 او تمام الاتش بتاعه وهكذا اه فيبقى الايه الريورد بتاعته 20 كويس جت منين؟ جت الشهر الاولاني الثاني الثالث والدبليو اللي هو التوتال بتاعهم في كل الشهور الله كريم الله المستعان اعتقد دي المفروض سميشن يعني بس ماشي ااا سميشن في الاي طبعا ااا فتبقى ايه 10 8 12 ايه الموظف ده مشي 20 في ثلاث شهور ده 8 ده سالب 5 ده خد ايه بينالتي وكذا طيب هو ايه هدفه؟ عشان بس ما نضيعش وقت كتير انه يوري حضرتك ان احنا ممكن نستخدم الماتريسيز او لينير الجبرا ان نعمل سيستم كويس سيستم اوف ايكويجنز ابدا انا اشتغل عليه ايه بعد كده بقى ايه كده الاوبريشنز بتاعتي فبالتالي اقدر ريبريزنت التيبل اللي عندي ده ان هو 10 اكس 1 زائد 8 اكس 2 زائد 12 اكس 3 تمام هيساوي 20 ال 4 و4 و2 اللي هيساوي 8 وهكذا في الحقيقه لا في الحقيقه دبليو دي دبليو دي دبليو دي الاماونت تارجت اند توتال ريورد بينالتي اماونت ذا بريسيدنج ايكويشن دبليو توتال ريورد او بينالتي اماونت ان ذا مانث اي يعني المفروض يعني التوتال او التوتال او كذا تبقى يعني 4 و4 8 2 10 10 تبقى 8 يعني كويس سالب 6 و2 تبقى سالب 4 لان دي 10 و12 و28 مظبوطه او مظبوطه لو انا فاهم صح يعني المهم ايا كان لو انا بقى ايه عايز اعرف بقى السولوشن اقوم بقى ايه عايز اعرف بقى اكس واحد تبقى بكام اكس 2 تبقى بكام حل الايكويشنز دي في حاجه اكزامبل ايه من عندهم زي ما هو كده بالظبط يعني على طول بدخل في الديتيرمنت في الحقيقه وده الايه الشيء اللي كنت نظر جدا ان السايز عايزه تترتب كويس المهم الديتيرمنت هو ايه زي ما قلنا هو البرودكت ضرب اول ايجن فاليوز اوف ذا ماتريكس كويس هو ميجر اوف هاو ماتش مالتيبليكيشن اكسبانس او كونتراكت سبيس هو ميجر الفوليوم يعني زي ما احنا كنا بنقول بالظبط ان شاء الله تعالى اللهم لك الحمد في لين الجبرا ان شاء الله غطينا كل المطلوب ااا والانفلوشن دي نفس الكلام ان شاء الله فما تقلقوش يعني كل كل اللي موجود ان شاء الله هتلاقيه متغطي بزياده وزياده كمان في الفيديوهات ان شاء الله تعالى. ااا فيبقى هو الديتيرمنت هو ميجر ميجر اوف ذا فوليوم كويس لو الديتيرمنت بزيرو معناه ان السبيس كونتراكتد كومبليتلي طبعا كونتراكت دي واصل بقى ايه اللي هي بقت السبيس بقت الفوليوم بقى بزيرو يعني. كويس فكده ايه بقت وان دايمنشن بقت خط واحد يعني فبالتالي انا لوست كل الفوليوم اللي ايه اللي في الـ في الشيب بتاعي. بعد كده ماتريكس اوبريشن الجمع سكيلر والمالتيبليكيشن ماتريكس مالتيبليكيشن ده كله قلناه. ده ريسورسز فور فيدر ريدنج لو حد حابب ان هو ايه يقرا عن الحاجات دي يعني. ايه ترانس ماتريكس ترانسبوزيشن ان 
المهم يعني ده ترانسبوز كويس وشوية كاركترستكس كده اللي ترانسبوز دي ماتريكس بعد كده تريس اوبريتور بعد كده بقى ايه اكزامبل باليد هو بقى ايه مديني بقى ماتريسيز ويبدا بقى يقول لك ايه اجمع واضرب في سكيلر واضرب اتنين في بعض وهكذا اضرب فيكتور طيب سبيشال ماتريسيز الايدنتيتي ماتريكس والانفيرس ماتريكس الدياجونال ماتريكس وبالمناسبه انا ايه عندي شك في الارقام اللي هنا دي يعني في حاجات مش مقتنع بيها يعني وبعد اذنكم انا عايز فعلا الناس اللي هي ما شاء الله ذهنها فريش في الرياضه ومتابعه الكلام ده من قريب يعني لسه ده السنه دي مثلا او كده جايين سنه عامه قريب ولسه داسين رياضه وبتاع عايزكم في الكومنتس اكتب لي كومنتس على السيل او ابعت لي على واتساب وعلى البابليك او على البرايفت قول لي الايه الملحوظات اللي على السلايدز انا مش في حاجات مش مقتنع بيها خالص في في السلايدز يعني السيمتريك والارثوجن الارثوجن دي ما قلناهاش دي المفروض انا ازودها في ممكن اخدها نوت فوق في السبيشال ماتريسيز فاكر كان ارثوجونال ماتريسيز ولا فيكتورز مش متذكر حاليا ايه هنوصلها ان شاء الله يعني طبعا هي صوره مش عارف اسيرش عليها فنجيلها كده بسرعه ان شاء الله الارثوجونال ماتريكس لو الاي في اي ترانسبوز بيساوي الاي ترانسبوز في الاي بيساوي ايدنتيتي ماتريكس وهي سكوير ماتريكس فايه اسمها ايه اورثوجونال ماتريكس يعني بس ازودها فوق ان شاء الله عندنا الايجن دي كومبوزيشن حلو هنا الاول ايه تعالى بقى نتكلم عن حته بدل ما رجعنا هنا تاني يبقى احنا كده رجعنا ايه آه خلصنا براها يعني مش كنت عايز اريفيو حضرتك انه ايه الجزء اللي قلناه فات ده اللي هو ايه اللي متغطي في السلايدز في المكان ده وان لله وان اليه راجعون طيب الاول ايه كونسبت الماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن كونسبت الماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن ايه هي كومون تاسك الاول هي كومون تاسك مهمه جدا جدا في الماشين ليرنينج بتظهر افري وير في ريكومنديشن الجوريزمز في ريكومندر سيستمز حد ممكن حد مشكور يقول لنا ايه هو ريكومندر سيستمز واكزامبل سايتس بتستخدمه حد بس يريز هاند يقول لي ايه هو ريكومندر سيستم واكزامبل لي ريكومندر سيستم احنا كلنا بنستخدمه مثلا ده في كل يوم كل يوم ايه ده يعني ها عماد اتفضل لو اللي هو انا قصدي عليه هو انا قصدي عليه يعني مثلا لما مثلا مثلا معين بعدها بيركومند لي بعض الفيديوهات اللي لها علاقه بالموضوع ده مثلا على نتفليكس او اي حاجه بتتفرج على مسلسل او فيلم بعدها يروح يجيب لي كل الافلام والمسلسلات اللي لها علاقه بده او نفس الفكره او نفس الخيال العلمي انت عندك نتفليكس يا عماد؟ نعم انت عندك نتفليكس يا عماد؟ كان عندي بس مش لاقي كده طيب مش لاقي كمان يعني حرام وسرقوا يعني لا ده هدايا لا ده هدايا هدايا سرقه برضه هو اللي بيسرقهم كده ماشي يا عماد طيب شكرا جزيلا طيب يعني كلام عماد النص الاولاني كويس موضوع نتفليكس ده هنبقى نستبعده خالص مالناش دعوه بيه كويس موضوع نتفليكس ده مأساه والله المهم ريكومند سيستم فيها كلنا عارفين اللي هو بتاع يوتيوب ابسط حاجه يعني كويس في امازون انك حاجه متفرج على فيديو في يوتيوب ريكومند حاجه فيديو تاني ايه سيميلر له كويس طيب فده ريكومند سيستم عموما يعني بيشتغل ازاي نشوف حالا ان شاء الله الايجن دي كومبوزيشن بقى بتاع الماتريكس ده مهم جدا جدا في ريكومند سيستمز تخيل ودي الفكره الفكره ان احنا ال- ال- الفيلد بتاع الاي ده الحمد لله هو كله له ماتيماتيكال بيزس فده على فكره كويس انا عارف ان ده تشالنجنج اه بالنسبه بالنسبه لنا في ال- في ال- يعني بعض الحاجات لكن فعلا ان شاء الله ربنا سبحانه وتعالى يفتح علينا من فضله يا رب ويكرمنا كويس وهنبقى ان شاء الله كويسين جدا في ان شاء الله تعالى يعني ما كانش فوق الممتاز ان شاء الله. فالماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن بقى تاني زي ما بنقول هي كومون تاسك في ماشين ليرنينج مهمه جدا جدا تظهر ايفري وير اكزامبل في ريكومندر سيستمز. Uh, في recommendation algorithm زي ال SVD بلس uh, بلس اللي هو ال singular single singular value decomposition او single vector decomposition جاي حالا ان شاء الله وده حاجه اسمها dimensionality reduction انا اقلل ال dimensions اللي عندي فاعرف اشتغل على الايه على البروبلم اللي عندي كويس دي حاجه اسمها PCA في ال NLP في latent semantic analysis فدي examples ديكومبوزيشن 
ما كنتش حابب ان انا ايه نتكلم كتير كده هنتكلم براحتنا خالص وكده يعني لحد ما وصل الايه الاثنين دول ان شاء الله يعني نتفليكس هي عملت بس نعرف يشتغلوا ازاي بس ما تفكرش عليهم يعني طيب ايجن ديكومبوزيشن اوف اميتريكس ايجن ديكومبوزيشن اوف اميتريكس هو ايه هو حاجه من الديكومبوزيشن إيه ولو انا بتكلم تاني عن كلمه ماتريكس ديكومبوزيشن ان يعني انا بكسر او بقسم الماتريكس بتاعتي انتو انتو اتس ال ال اقول ايه اقول البيزك ستراكشر بتاعها كويس هنا لازم كنت محتاج اصلا اديفاين الماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن فانا بكسر الماتريكس بتاعتي انتو المين كومبوننتس بتاعتها كويس اللي هي الايجن فيكتورز يعني باختصار شديد ف او بتبسيط شديد اسف بتبسيط شديد فا تبقى اسهل عليا في الاستورج والبروسيسنج وحاجات كتير جدا جاي حالا ان شاء الله. اه <تصفيق> اشهر طريقه للماتريكس ديكومبوزيشن اللي اسمها ايجن ديكومبوزيشن اللي بطلع منها الايه الايجن فيكتورز يعني كويس بديكومبوز الماتريكس انتو اسيت اوف ايجن فيكتورز اند ايجن فاليوز هي الوحيده لا مش هي الوحيده دي حاجه مهمه جدا ماتريكس ديكومبوزيشن له طرق كتيره جدا كويس من ضمنها الايجن ديكومبوزيشن كويس الفيكتور از ان ايجن فيكتور اوف ماتريكس اف ات ساتيسفايز ذا فولوينج ايكويشن ايكويشن كده معينه ان الاي في بيساوي لامدا في اللي خدناها من شويه دي الايجن فاليو ايكويشن كويس وير الاي از ذا بيرنت سكوير ماتريكس اللي احنا عايزين نعمل له دي كومبوزيشن والفي الايجن فيكتور كويس واللامدا اللي هي الايه اللي هي الريبريزنت الايجن فاليو سكيلر كويس الحته دي ممكن ابقى اشيلها انا بعدين ان شاء الله الصفحه دي ممكن ابقى اشيلها بعدين ان شاء الله مش لازم اخلص الماتريكس هي ما كملتش اصلا يعني الماتريكس كود هاف وان ايجن فيكتور اند ايجن فاليو فور ايتش دايمنشن اوف ذا بيرنت ماتريكس وبالمناسبه نوت اول سكوير ماتريكس كان هاف ماتريسيز كان هاف او كان بي دي كومبوز انتو ايجن فيكتور اند فاليو يبقى انا مش شرط اي سكوير ده اي سكوير ماتريكس اقدر ان انا افكها لا مش شرط حلو تمام آه ممكن يبقى عندي واحد ممكن ما يبقاش عندي آه خالص كويس ممكن يبقى عندي بس محتاج ايه كومبلكس نمبرز حلو فالبيرنت ماتريكس هيبقى برودكت الايه لل ممكن افكر فيها ان البيرنت ماتريكس هي برودكت للايجن فيكتورز اند ايجن فاليوز كيو دايجونال في في كيو سالب واحد والكيو ده هو ايه هي ماتريكس كومبرايزد اوف ايجن فيكتورز كان كله كان موجود في الفيديو من شويه بالمناسبه حلو دايجونال دايجونال في دي هي دايجونال ماتريكس كومبرايزد اوف ايجن فاليوز الونج دايجونال ايه دايجونال sometimes represented with a capital دي عشان كان لما قال في الفيديو من شويه عشان يحول من اللي كان على الشمال ماتريكس وعلى اليمين كان فيكتور فاستخدم الدايجونال ده عشان ايه يخلي على اليمين ماتريكس يقدر ان هو ايه يشتغل عليها يعني كويس ايجن ده مش حاجه ايه معنى الكلمه اي اي ايجن كلمه الماني اصلا معناها اون او انيت حاجه داخليه يعني كويس دي كومبوزيشن بالمناسبه دي حته مهمه جدا مش شرط ينتج عنها كومبريشن اوف ذا ماتريكس خالص الفكره عندي مش ان انا بقول ان انا عايز اضغطها لا انا بطلع منها الـ 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 بقسمها الى اجزاء عشان اقدر اشتغل على الاجزاء دي افشنتلي بكفاءه ونشوف حالا ان شاء الله مثلا اكزامبل بتاع نتفليكس ده تحديدا اللي كان عامله مسابقه ب 100000 دولار او حاجه زي كده كذا كذا 1000 دولار يعني ان الداتا سيت كانت كبيره قوي فما كانش عندي سيستم قادر يشتغل عليها اصلا فايه اللي حصل اللي حصل ان اه حلوها ما شاء الله بالايه بالايجن ديكومبوزيشن ده او بالديكومبوزيشن عموما يعني زي بالظبط لما امسك رقم واطلع البرايم فاكتورز بتاعته اقول مثلا رقم مثلا اه رقم مثلا اه سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله رقم تسعة كويس البرايم فاكتورز بتاعته اه واحد وثلاثة وتسعة صح لا واحد وثلاثة كويس واحد وثلاثة فانا كده عرفت منها اوتوماتيكلي ان التسعة لو باقي اسمها لو اتقسم على اثنين او على او مشتقاتها بقى اثنين واربعة وبتاع وكلام من ده كويس فدي عملية انا استفدتها لما عرفت الايه البرايم فاكتورز بتاعت التسعة على سبيل المثال فده اكزامبل يعني 
all vectors change direction when they are multiplied by e اه انا كنت برضه من امبارح اصلا ما كنتش ما كنتش فاكر هو عايز هنا يقول ايه الله المستعان طيب هنفوت دي دلوقتي معلش الايجن دي كومبوزيشن زي ما قلنا بقى ايه اه ممكن استخدمه عشان احسب بيه حاجه اسمها البرنسيبال كومبوننتس حاجه اسمها البي سي اي البرنسيبال كومبوننت اناليسيس كويس ودي مهمه جدا عشان نقلل الدايمنشنز وكمان نقلل الدايمنشنز يعني ايه هنشوف حالا ان شاء الله تعالى في الفيديو اللي هنشوفه كمان شويه لان زي ما ريبريزنت زي ما ريبريزنت زي ما ريبريزنت اسمه ايه ده ماتريكس كبيره قوي في حاجات صغيره طيب الايجن فيكتس والايجن فاليوز بقى تاني هي ال الحته دي محطوطه ايه لو الفيديو ما كانش واضح يعني ممكن نبقى نبص عليها وحسبتها ازاي اهم اللي جدا فيها الايه البايثون كويس هنا البايثون بتاعي ان انا لو عندي في الجبرا فيها اصلا حاجه اسمها ايجن اي اي جي بدي له الاري واقول له الايجن بتاعها انا بجيب لك الفيكت الفاليوز والايه والفيكتورز ليه تاني بقول هنا باكد لكل الناس تاني احنا مش موضوعنا زي نحسب خالص كويس مش ده مهم عندي وعندي بقى انا فاهم اصلا بعمل بالحاجات دي ايه والـ HCI ايه هو اسوشيت ليفل احنا بس بنبدا كده ان شاء الله ايه نسمي بسم الله مع شويه البيزز دي ان شاء الله ربنا يكرمنا ونعدي في حاجات ثانيه احسن ان شاء الله بكثير يعني. طيب كان تشالنج هنا هل اقدر اكون اكون اريكونستراكت الاوريجينال ماتريكس من الايجن فيكتورز والايجن فاليوز بتاعتها؟ الاجابه اه المفروض اكيد كويس مش المفروض ان شاء الله يحصل يعني. فانا هنا عملت ايه هنا؟ عملت امبورت الداجونال والدوت والانفيرس والايجن وعرفت الري اللي هي من واحد الى تسعة إيه تلاتة في تلاتة كويس وجبت الايجن فاليوز والفيكتورز بتاعتها جبت فاليوز وفيكتورز الايجن بتاعت الاي وبعدين عملت الماتريكس اللي هي اسمها كيو اللي هي اللي فوق دي كويس انا بقى ايه مستخدم الرول اللي هي المعادله اللي كانت هنا ان الاي بتساوي كيو دايجونال في في كيو اس سالب واحد كويس كيو سالب واحد دي اللي هي الايه اللي هي الانفرس يعني فجيت هنا حسبت الكيو اللي هي الفيكتورز وبعدين جبت الانفرس بتاع الكيو بعدين عملت دايجونال بالفاليوز حلو وبعدين بقى قلت له ايه كيو دوت دوت برودكت ال ال دوت برودكت ال ار وبرنت ال بي لقيتها رجعت لي بالظبط زي ما هي الحمد لله وشكرا لله فده يبين لك بس ان احنا ايه طبعا هي هنا هنا يبقى انا هنا بال بالايجن فاليوز والايجن فيكتورز الحمد لله قدرت انا ايه استرجع المصفوفه تاني عشان الداتا دي صغيره مش هيبان قوي معايا اهميتها لكن بس اديني ايه اديني ان شاء الله دقائق ان شاء الله ونخش على حاجه تجبنا قوي ان شاء الله يعني ان شاء الله تعالى نفس الكلام بالظبط وسفر هي ايه بيسهم قوي في السلايدز في استخدام الايه النوتيشنز بتاعت الماتيماتكس كويس بدون توضيح شديد فبحس ان بحس ان شاء الله تاني يكون اوضح يعني المهم نفس الكلام تاني الايجن دي كومبوزيشن هو اشهر حاجه من الماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن في العموم كويس بيدي كومبوز الماتريكس انتو سيت اوف ايجن فيكتورز اند ايجن فاليوز اقدر اكسرهم بكذا طريقه زي ما قلنا من ضمنها ايجن دي كومبوزيشن ده ان انا ايه احاول احل الايكويشن دي وهنا ما شاء الله لطيف جدا ان هو ايه جاب لي اكزامبل محلول ويجيبه في الامتحان زي ما هو جاب لي في الامتحان واحد 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 كويس ويقول لك ايه الايجن فاليو هنا بكام تقول له ب 2 على طول ان شاء الله او مش فاكر في الحقيقه طيب وايه بيحاول بقى ايه يمشي كان في الفيديو بالظبط نفس الخطوات اهي من غير بقى توضيح الداجونال خالص ولا حاجه من دي الاكزامبل ده مهم ممكن تبقى تقراه ممكن تبقى تحله يعني كويس لان هو بيجي بيجي في الامتحان من الاخر يعني السؤال ده بيجي ايه زي ما هو كده بالظبط بيجيب الماتريكس دي ويسال عنها يقول الايجن فاليو بتاعتها بكام تمام ب 2 وسالب 2 لو انا فاكر صح يعني لان هي كانت اربعه فهي 2 وسالب 2 متهيألي يعني ان شاء الله تعالى مم. لا هي اربعه لازم نقرا بقى <تصفيق> لازم نقرا كويس او نحسب يعني تمام المهم حد يحسبه ويقول لي بعد اذنك حد كده كده عاوز كده ايه هي 2 وسالب 2 هي 2 وسالب 2 لو انا فاكر صح ان شاء الله الاكيوسي الاكيوسي كانت عدت علينا صح؟ إيه لا دي ما كانتش عدت متهيألي حد فاكر عدت علينا ولا لا؟ حد كده على الواتساب الاكيوسي جت في الفيديوهات ولا ما جاتش؟ عشان لو كده اكتب نوت وايه وادي ال عدت حد فاكر ان عدت علينا؟ ويا سلام لو الفيديو يبقى كويس جدا يعني المهم ايه الاكيوسي ده حاجه بسيطه جدا جدا الاكيوسي لو انا عندي ماتريكس اي ليها لينيال اندبندنت ايجن فيكتورز وذ كورسبوندنج ايجن فاليوز لامدا لكل ايجن فيكتور منهم ايجن دي كومبوزيشن اوف اي جيفن باي اي بتساوي بي دايجونال لامدا في بي اس سالب واحد او انفرس البي يعني المهم ان الماتريكس اكيوسي لو الماتريكس الايجن فاليوز بتاعتها كلها مش في الفيديوهات صح ذكر خيري علي اه 
فوت الضف ان شاء الله يعني لو الايجن فاليوز كلهم بوزيتيف هتبقى الماتريكس دي بس ايه الاكيرسي بتاعتها بوزيتيف ديفينيت يعني ايه يقينا هي بوزيتيف يعني لو الايجن فاليوز كلهم نيجاتيف اسمها نيجاتيف ديفينيت طيب لو لو الايجن فاليوز كلهم بوزيتيف او زيرو اسمها بوزيتيف سيمي ديفينيت لان الزيرو مش شرط يكون بوزيتيف كويس فلو هي كلها بوزيتيف او زيرو يا سيم بوزيتيف سيمي ديفينيت نيجاتيف او زيرو نيجاتيف سيمي ديفينيت هنا دي بوزيتيف ديفينيت ونيجاتيف ديفينيت وده سؤال في الامتحان الاربعه دول بيسال فيهم هيبقى بيقول لك ايه لو هي كلها زيرو مش عارف كلها كلها بوزيتيف او كلام من ده هي معناها ايه انا مش مش متذكر حاليا للاسف انا كنت فاكر امبارح سبحان الله معنى الميتكس اكيرسي وللاسف مش ممكن احطها هنا دلوقتي مش شرط فيديو ممكن نحطها ديفينيشن الماتريكس اكيرسي هنشيل دي بس كده ايه باي مي ااا دي كلاسيفيكيشن اكيرسي مش ماتريكس اكيرسي لا ما انا عارف ان هي مش مش هتلاقي حاجه طالعه قوي يعني كويس لا 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 هي مش دي سيبها عشان تتوقع بعد كده هنسيبها لما على رواق كده ان شاء الله يعني هنسيبها على رواق كده ان شاء الله تعالى بقى بص عليها وهعطيكم على الواتساب ولا حاجه ان شاء الله يعني ده انا فاكر ان هي ما مش حاجه سالكه كده طيب الفاكتورايزيشن بقى كويس آه السؤال فعلا بجد حد عنده فكره الريكومندر سيستم بتاع انت فيكس بيشتغل ازاي مش خاطر عماد بس ودي مشكله في الحقيقه هي جت فيك عماد بقى معلش يعني ان انت ايه بتخش بأكونتات مش انت عامل لوحدك يعني مسروق على الانترنت بفيس ناس تانيه دافعاها من فلوسها كويس بفلوس حرام يعني تخش تتفرج على نتفليكس وبتاع كويس ف ازاي بقى نتفليكس بيريكومند الفيديوز دي طبعا نتفليكس عايزك تقعد تتفرج عايز كل الناس تقعد تتفرج يعني كويس كل ما تقعد اكتر كل ما هو ايه هيكسب اكتر فهو كده مستفيد يعني فمش عايز يسيبك تطلع من حاجه تخش على حاجه فحد فعلا حضراتكم كان قرا قبل كده في الكمبيوتر سيستمز عموما بتشتغل ازاي بت طبيعتها ايه او كده اندرو قولي اندرو اتفضل هو اللي انا اعرفه هو اللي انا اعرفه اكتر حاجه بيستعملوها يعني وكده اللي هو السيرت بارتي ان هو الكوكيز وكده ده بيقعدوا يشوفوا اكتر هيتابعوا اكتر حاجه احنا بنتفرج عليها وكده بيقعد من السيرت بارتي والحاجات ديت يجيب لك اللي هو الحاجات القريبه من اللي انت بتتفرج عليها تمام بيعملها ازاي بقى يعني الكوكيز دي الطريقه اللي هو بيلم بيها الداتا مش مشكله ماشي كويس تمام ااا بس اقصد بيعملها بيحسبها ازاي؟ ما هي البرزمات بقى اللي هو يشوف مش عارف بصراحه مش عارف بيشوفها كمن ناحيه يعني صوره ولا كمن ناحيه النوع تقريبا كاتيجوريز يعني بيقسمهم كاتيجوريز مثلا ده ده ناحيه علميه اديوكيشن ده حاجه اللي هو فور فان في حاجات يعني يعني ده اللي انا مسلسلات موفيز او مسلسلات موفيز او كده على حسب الحاجه اللي هم مقسمينه القسم اللي هم مقسمينه بقى بطريقه مش شكرا يا اندرو طيب شكرا جزيلا حد عنده خلفيه شباب ااا اصل انا لازم حد يجاوب تاني غير يعني حد اندرو غير اندرو يجاوب بعدين هبدا انا ايه اجاوب ان شاء الله لو انا عارف اجابه يعني ااا مريم اتفضلي يا مريم هي 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 مش ببساطه يعني هي مش ببساطه يعني لو انا مثلا بحب الساينس فيكشن موفيز يعني ما ببساطه يعني مش يعني لو انا مش عايزه اضخمها واقعد اقول الكويس بس انا بحب الساينس فيكشن موفيز وبحب مثلا الاكترس دي او الاكتور ده طب بناء عليه لو هي الممثله دي بتمثل اي ساينس فيكشن واي نفس الممثله لما يجيب لي نفس الحاجات اللي شبهها او لو انا برضو هنا لو اتفرجت مثلا على فيلم ايه مع مصطفى اللي يجيب يعني كده هي لما تبقى حاجه كاتيجورايز بالي اي حاجه شبهها يعني هيجيبها ازاي يعني يعني انت ها يعني ما هو هي متخزنه عنده في الداتا ان الفيلم ده شبهه بتاعه والممثله دي كانت مثلها في فيلم زيها قبل كده كويس مخزنه بقى مخزنه عنده ازاي بالراحه يا مريم بس بالراحه عليا بس واحده واحده مخزنه عنده ازاي في صوره ايه يعني مخزنه في صوره جداول مثلا؟ 
ملايين يعني الجداول في الداتابيز؟ ماشي اه يعني لو نتفليكس عليه كام يوز عنده كام يوزر؟ لا هو مش هتقوم اصلا مش هتقوم اصلا مش هتقوم اساسا كويس؟ مش هتقوم طبعا نتفليكس عنده كام يوزر؟ ما انا بقول لك نتفليكس عنده كام يوزر؟ ادي ادي رقم كده يعني كتير جدا صح؟ وعنده كام موفي؟ كتير جدا برضه كتير جدا برضه صح؟ كويس؟ طيب هيحطهم في صوره مثلا تيبل او ماتريكس صح؟ تمام هتبقى كام في كام الماتريكس دي؟ لا كبيرة جدا كبيرة جدا صح؟ قربتي من المشكلة شكرا جزيلا يا مريم عملنا ده كويس جدا انا بس كنت عايز اطمن ان ايه ان الناس ما شاء الله كلها معانا في قصة ان في اشكال فعلا ان في اشكال فعلا ده حقيقي الحمد لله وشكرا لله انا بس ايه هبقى عايز احضر حاجة حاجة معينة اردون دي كويسة اه دي كويسة جدا ما شاء الله طيب تعالوا نشوف الفيديو ده مع بعض ولو صوتي مش واضح قولي لي من بدري عشان ايه ما اقعدش اتفرج كتير يعني على ال فهي انا حاولت اشوف اقل فيديو فيه بهدله يعني لقيت ان هو فيديو ايه نسبيا معقول يعني كويس اقل فيديو فيه صور وحاجات كده وبتاع هتاخد الصوت واطي شويه ونشغل السب تايتلز recommendations Anna rated movie 5 four out of five stars. I'm going to record that in the big table on the right where the rows are the users and the columns are the movies. We're going to record this four in here, row Anna and call it movie 5. So we do that for every user and every movie and we get something like this. And now I'm going to ask you a question. And I'd like you to ponder on this question. So feel free to pause the video. The question is how do humans behave? So I'm going to show you three tables. There's table one, table two, and table three. And let's think which one do we think looks more like the real Netflix table. So let's analyze them so one by one. one. Let's, let's look at the one in the left. Every user, every user gave, every gave every movie a rating of three. Rating of three. So that was not very so realistic. It's kind of assuming, kind of assuming that all humans, have, all humans the have the same preferences and also, and also that all movies are rated the same, are rated the same by so every human. So humans have, humans have a little more free will than that. Than so that was so that not the one. Now let's look at the third one. The third one is made by all random numbers. So that one basically assumes that all humans are completely, humans are completely different, different in terms of preferences and that all movies, that all movies are different completely different in terms of ratings, ratings, ratings by humans and that one's also, that not, one's very also not very it realistic it turns out that, uh, that uh, this table has a lot of dependencies humans, humans, humans sometimes, are similar, sometimes are similar to each other and, and, and movies sometimes are similar to each other so, so turns out that, that, that the table that is more realistic is the one in the middle so let's study the table in the middle a little more this table, this table, which at first looks, which at a, first looks random, a little random, turns out to have a lot, of, out to have a lot of dependencies. Again, feel free, again, feel free to pause the video and, and try to find as many dependencies as you can in this, table. Can in this table. So here's one. So here's one. If you look, if you look at, the first at the first and third rows, rows they are the exact same, same thing. thing. And what does this, really this really say? Well, well it, says that it says that Anna and Carlos have very similar, have very similar preferences. preferences. So for so Netflix purposes, Netflix purposes they, they are treated as the same person, so we can say that A, equals C, A equals C in terms of preferences. In terms of preferences. Now, can we find, now, can other, we find dependencies other dependencies in this table? In this table? Let's, look some more Let's look some more carefully. Well, 
Well, seam fat, seam fat column, one, column, column one and column four are exactly the, are same. Exactly the same. And what does that mean? And what does that mean? That movie one and that movie, movie, one and movie four are the same well, movie. Maybe not the same well, maybe not the same movie. movie. But maybe they are but very, similar, they are very movies similar movies and people gave them similar, gave ratings. similar ratings. Maybe movie one is, maybe movie small, one is small cop and movie four and is that movie was set for again about a cop in a mall. So, so those things could happen, those things could happen too. Could also we could also have dependence on columns. Among columns. Uh, but let's see, there, uh, are but let's see. there are some dependence. more hidden dependencies. Let's look at this, look at this one between, between rows. these three rows. Can you find the dependencies among these three rows? Among these three rows? So, the dependency so the dependency is the following. If you take the values, you take the values in the second, in the second row, row and, and add them, them to the values in the third row, you obtain the values in the fourth row. You can see that 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 1 is 3, etc. And what does it mean? And what does it mean? Uh, well, it's kind of strange. Uh, well, it's kind of strange. It's like saying that the preferences of one person are the preferences of another person, are the preferences of a third person. Of a third person. Um, but this, this, um, could, but happen. this, this could happen. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Betty loves, loves action, movies. action movies and Carlos loves, loves comedy, and Dana and just, just happens to love both. Comedy and, comedy action, and action movies. And, and when it's a comedy action, action movie, movie, then Dana loves, then it. Dana loves it. So it's so kind of like, it's kind of like two you have two people and, and then a third, then person, a third person with the with preferences, the preferences of, the other, of the other two people together. So it could happen. So it could happen. Have dependencies, could have like dependencies, dependencies like that. Let's see. Are there any more let's see. Are there any more dependencies? Uh, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this three, three columns, over, columns here. over here. So if you look so carefully, you look carefully the, column the column number five is the average is the of columns two and three. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you can the see, values, for example, the values, for example, one, the average is one, the average is one, two and the four, uh, two and the four, the average is three. The average is three. And, um, and um, how could this happen? How could this happen? Well, well, what if movie what two, if movie two uh, is Twister? Uh, is Twister. It's, about a tornado, it's about a tornado. And movie three and is Jaws. It's, it's, it's about a shark. And movie five is Sharknado, five is Sharknado which, is which is about tornadoes and sharks. Tornadoes and sharks. Well, well, it could be that if you like, be that if you tornadoes, like and sharks, tornadoes and sharks, you're, you're going to like Sharknado, Sharknado and if you, and you say you like tornadoes, you like tornadoes but you hate sharks, then you're just going to be okay, okay with Sharknado. So, so in, some way, in some way, Tornado's the average, tornadoes the average of Twisted and, and, and Jaws in terms ratings. of ratings. Uh, now, these, uh, these, uh, now, these uh, relations, uh, they look a little too fake and a little too optimistic. And maybe they are, but at the end of the day, there are relations between columns and there are relations between rows. That sometimes one can sometimes explain, one can explain in, terms of, in terms of teachers of and teachers and, and sometimes we can't, sometimes we but, can't but we still use them. Still use them. And so basically, and so what, basically what today's video is going to be about is these tables, these tables has a lot, has of, a lot of dependencies and we're going to use those dependencies, use those dependencies to, guess to guess ratings. So let me show you a very, simple, you a very example simple example of how to use dependencies to guess ratings. Let's say we have a super simple table where every user has the same preferences and every movie is the same, uh, but, uh, but Carlos hasn't, Carlos watched, hasn't movie watched movie 4, four. so what do so we guess what do we that guess Carlos is going to give movie 4? Well, this is, well very simple. this is very simple, since everybody gave since 3 to all the movies, then Carlos is going to give 3 stars, three stars to movie 4. So that's very simple, very simple, simple but let's go to a more complicated, more complicated one. In here, Carlos hasn't seen the movie 5. So what do we say Carlos is going to give movie 5? Well, we remember that Anna and Carlos have the same preferences for everything. Those are pretty much the same. So it's safe to assume that Carlos will give movie 5 the ring that Anna gave, which is one star. So now this is very simple, now, is very but, simple but we can do some, can math, do some math to actually guess, to actually more, guess complicated more complicated ones. So the question, so the question is, is, how do we figure out, we figure all, out these dependencies all these dependencies at the same time? The same time? And, the answer, and the answer is with matrix factorization. Is with matrix factorization. So why is it so called matrix, matrix factorization? factorization? What is factorization? What is factorization? What is factorization? What is factorization? Remember, Remember sometime, sometime in life we saw something, something called factorization. Or when I think of factorization, I think of something like this. Six times four equals twenty-four. So the twenty-four is a big number. But we, but express, it we express it as a product of two small numbers, six and four. Six and four. So we managed to break, down, managed a to break number, down a big number as a product of two small ones. And that is matrix, and that is matrix factorization. We have, we a, have large a large complicated matrix, matrix at, the right, uh, at the right, and we're going to express it as the product of two things, things this like and this and a that. And those two things are going to be small, like the six and the four. And magically, and they're going to give us that big matrix on the right. 
we're going to have a, 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 much a, a, a much simpler scenario with the small, small matrix in the moment, like right, to the big one. And so now I'm going to show you how to find the two small matrices whose product is the big one. And for that, we're going to use features. So a feature in a movie can be any, for example, it's comedy, it's action, drama, scary. Other features can be maybe it doesn't have a big boat, does it have a sad dog? Is there a strip on it, or does it have a sexy Canadian called Ryan? Canadian called Ryan. It, can much it can be pretty much anything we want. We want. So, let's so let's look, look for, example, uh, two for example two features, comedy and action. Comedy and action. So, now so now I'm going to introduce dot product. Dot product. Dot product, is, dot product a is a way to guess a rating based on how, based much, on a how much a user likes comedy, likes comedy and action and how much a movie, contains, much a movie contains, comedy contains comedy and action. So let's say we've, so figured, say out we've figured out somehow that, that, that Anna, likes comedy, Anna likes comedy and she doesn't and like action. Doesn't I'll like tell you later how to figure this out. And now let's say that we managed to rate every movie based on how much comedy and how much action, 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 action they had. So let's say we figured, so out, that figured that out that Mall Cup has, uh, has a rating of three in comedy and, in comedy one, and in one in action. So, we're gonna so what we're going to do is, is from here we're going to figure out how many stars and I gave Mall Cup. Cup. So, so since Anna likes comedy, 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 then we're going to take the three of comedy, the three of comedy as Anna doesn't, Anna doesn't like action, we're going to forget about the one of action and we're going to say that Anna gives three stars to the movie Mall Cup. So let's do another so example. Let's say we figured, let's out, say we that figured out that Betty does not, not like comedy, but, she does, but like she does like action. And Mall Cup again, again is three for comedy, for comedy and one for action. One for so, this action. Time, so this time we're not going to care about the three of comedy, but we're going to add the one of action, of action and Betty's going to give one star to the uh, movie, movie Mall Cup. And let's just do one, and more, let's just do one more example. Let's say we figured, figured out that Dana likes comedy, likes comedy and, likes action, and likes action, and Sharknado, and Sharknado happens to have a rating of one for comedy and three for and action. Three for so, action. What so what we do is, is add the one, and the, the one and the three, because, because she likes because both comedy and action, so, and so uh, uh, the movie Sharknado, Sharknado she's going to rate it with one plus three, which is four stars. So let's look at the two tables. The table in the left is is the scores, the scores uh, for, each movie, for based each movie based on comedy and action. So, for example, the first, example, the first movie, movie has three in comedy and one in action, and so on. And so on. And the second table has, has the preferences of each, of each person. Like do they like comedy and do they, and like, action? Do they like action? So, for example, Anna, Anna the, first, the first row, she likes comedy, she likes comedy like and she dislikes action, action, and so on. And so, I'm and gonna so I'm going to repeat the calculations from, from the last, uh, the last couple, of uh, couple of slides. Uh, if we look at uh, Anna and how much rating she gave movie one, well, we look at the movie one row, which is the first one, and that gives a three when it comes to comedy, and a one when it comes to action. And then we go to Anna's row, which is the first row. The first say, row, okay, and we well, say, okay, well, Anna likes comedy, Anna likes comedy this, likes this likes action, so we're gonna so add, we're gonna the, add ones the ones that appear with a, with a yes. yes. So, so that's the three, so we add the three, and we don't add the one. So Anna gets, so three, Anna gets stars. three stars, and gives three stars, and gives three stars to the movie, movie one. one. And let's do Betty, and let's do Betty. With movie one, with so, movie we one. so we look one at row. movie one row, that scores, of, that scores three of three and one, and at Betty's, and row, Betty's row, that's a no for that's comedy, no for comedy and a yes for action, so we get the following, we don't add the three, we don't add the three and we do add the one, and so we get one, and so we get one star for movie one. For movie one. And finally, and finally for, Dana, for Dana, and the rating of movie, movie five, well we look at the movie well, five row, and at Dana's row, and she gives a one plus three. Uh, because plus we're three because we're counting both the comedy, both the comedy and the rating and the action rating, so, so she gives a four. The movie five. The movie five. Um, if you've seen, um, if you've product, seen dot product, uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Right? Right? And basically for, and each, basically row for each row the in the left table, uh, and, for table row, and for each row the right table, the right table we can, uh, we can uh, actually come up with a rating. So basically, for, rating. Every so basically movie, for every movie, for every, every user, user, we can come up with a rating, like, up this. With a rating like this. So we're able, so we're able to, fill to fill every single entry on the table right on the right by combining the corresponding, corresponding row on the movie feature. 
feature uh, matrix, uh, and matrix on and user on the user feature matrix. Feature matrix. So, what we did, so what we did is we expressed, we expressed that movie that on, the right on the right as a somehow, as a, somehow as, a product as a product of the two, of the two, two matrices, matrices, on, the the matrices on the left. So what we did is factorization, so we did factorization is basically. We expressed the 24, we the 24 as, a product as a product of a small 6 and a small 4. And a small so, now four. so now we expressed a, uh, a uh, big matrix as a big product matrix of two smaller matrices. And the way I like to see it is like this. So I have the so matrix, I have the matrix uh, where the rows are uh, users, rows and, users columns are and, movies, and columns are movies. Uh, in the middle, uh, in the middle. And the top we have, the top we where, have the where the columns are movies, and the rows are features, and the left we have the features, columns are features, and the rows and the rows are users. Are users. So for example, for example, any entry in this matrix, for this matrix, for example, four, four. For Betty and movie Betty three. And movie well, three. We well, we obtained it the by doing product the dot product of this column, this column, movie three, movie three, and this and row, this row, Betty. Betty. And as you can see, and as you can see, uh, it's a uh, one and a so four, one and a four, but Betty, but Betty uh, doesn't like comedy, uh, doesn't like comedy, and doesn't like action. Doesn't so like action. We only have the four, and we get a rating, and we get a rating of four. So that's so it. So that's, that's it. Uh, that's basically, uh, that's basically a how matrix factorization uh, works. Uh, works. And you notice that and the dependencies that were found previously among the rows and, among columns, the rows and columns are found here are too. Found here too. Way. Remember, that, remember that, that the first row and the third row were the same? That's because the preferences of Anna and the preferences of Carlos are the same. They both like comedy and do not like action. So that equates the fact that the columns and the rows are the same. In the same way, remember, the same that, way, the remember that the first movie and the fourth movie uh, have the exact same ratings, ratings from everybody because the columns were the same. That is that because, is both, because movies both movies have the same scores for comedy and action. If you look at the top matrix, the top they, matrix both they both have three for comedy and one for action. And this can be and even, even, even more, more, even more check, 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 check this out. Uh, remember that uh, the sum of the two rows in the middle was the bottom row. That is because if we take Betty's preferences, and Carlos's preferences, preferences and, put together, and put them together, they become Dana's preferences because, preference because Betty likes, likes action and Carlos, and Carlos comedy, likes comedy and Dana likes, likes action and, action and comedy. And comedy. And that's why the rows, the rows, row is third row is equal to the fourth. And if you remember, and if you remember the average of these two columns is this column. Is this column. And that's because and that's the because that happens. The average, that happens. The average between one and one, one, one and the average between one and four is the third movie has has scores in comedy scores and, action, comedy and the action, average between the, the, average the, between second, the and second and the fourth movie. Fourth movie. So in a nutshell, so in a nutshell that's, 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 that's what matrix multiplication is, basically is expressing a big matrix as a, as a product of two smaller, product product smaller, smaller ones where we use some kind of features. Some kind of features. And as we saw the and dependencies, saw the dependencies between, between matrices small matrices and rows and columns, and we translate the dependencies in the big matrix. So this matrix factorization has a lot of benefits. Uh, uh, one is uh, storage. Uh, storage. Uh, this is not the main, uh, this is not the main benefit, benefit, the main but, benefit but it actually free. comes for free. Basically, if we want to store, we wanna store the big matrix, the big matrix middle, in the middle, all we need, all we need to do is store, store the one on the, the top and the one on the left. And we save a lot, and of, space. We save a lot of space. Uh, here's, not so uh, obvious, here's not so obvious, but, but if we look at really, really big matrices, really matrices, we actually do, we save, actually a do save a lot of space. So let's say we have, so let's say we have a, a, big matrix a big matrix of uh, 2,000 uh, users, users and 1,000 1, movies. movies. So let's think. So let's think. Now, if you prefer to pause the video and get the next number, next that's, number that's, 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 that's going to appear, but how many entries are in this matrix? Well, the answer is 2,000 2, users, users times 1,000 movies. movies. So there's two so there's million, two million uh, entries, two million, uh, entries two million ratings. And if we manage, if we factor, manage to this, factor this uh, as a product, uh, as a product, product of two small matrices, one, one of, say, we have, features, we have 100 features, 2,000 users, and one of the same, and one of the same 100 features, and 1,000 movies, and 1, movies, then how many then entries, how many entries uh, do we have now? Do we have now? Well, in the top in the matrix of 2,000 by 100, we have 200,000 entries, and in the left matrix of 1,000 movies by 100 features, we have 100,000 entries. So in total, we have 100,000 plus 200,000, 300,000 entries versus 2 million that we have to store at the beginning. So it's a huge saving of space. And again, if you want to find any entry, make any entry in the red matrix in the middle. For example, this one. For example, this one. What we do is we take the dot product between the corresponding row in the left matrix and the corresponding column in the top matrix.
Um, um, some people like to see it as people like to see it as some people like to see it as some people like to see it as graphs, 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 well, graphs, graphs as well. For example, here, here are our four, four users, and here are our and five, here movies. five movies. And every rating, and every rating is the label of every edge from a user, from a user to, a movie, to a movie. Right, because each user right, because gives each movie one rating. Uh, and that's a lot of edges. But if we actually but put to uh, features, uh, and, features instead, and instead, we have that each user, have that gets, each user associated gets associated with each feature in some way, in some either way. they like, that, they feature like that feature or not, and if feature and gets associated, gets associated to each movie, 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 movie like a number that gets associated with how much confidence this movie have, how much action does this movie have, then we're actually saving a lot of space, whereas the left one has a lot of edges, and the right one has much less edges. In this small case, it's not a lot of space to save, because the left one has the 20 one has 20 which is 5 times 4, whereas the one on the right has, whereas 18, the one on the right has 18, because it's 4 times 2 for, four times two for users, five users and times features, and 2 times 5, and two times five for features times four movies, so, times eight movies, so 8 plus so 10. There's not a lot so of, uh, there's not a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, space, uh, but, if space but if we think about it, if we have 2,000 users and 1,000 movies, then we have 2 million parameters, which is the same calculation we did before, 2,000 parameters. Thousand parameters. And if we were to and split, we were between, to features, split between uh, features, features, uh, features, 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 and we have a hundred features, a hundred features, and still two thousand users, still two thousand users, and a thousand and movies. And in the top, the green edges, top, the green edges, there is two hundred thousand of these. Two hundred thousand of these. Because it's two hundred users, times two hundred users, times a hundred features, and the bottom there's a hundred thousand, which is a hundred features, times a thousand movies, times a thousand movies. And if we add those two, we get three hundred thousand parameters. So, in summary. In summary, the left we have two million, the left parameters, have two million and parameters, and the right we have 300,000 so parameters. It's a lot of, uh, a lot space, of uh, that space that is but safe. Of course, but of course, uh, the reason we do this, uh, the is, more we do this is more than safe in space is for actual, for actual, actually, uh, actually uh, predicting uh, the, the, uh, the, the user's rating. Of the user's we're going to see that. We're going to we're going to see that in a little bit. But the question we're going to answer now. Yes. How did we find this factorization? How did you find this factorization? Like, like, like this is something that maybe a human can eyeball and, okay, and say, okay, likes, maybe this person likes how many this person likes, many this person likes um, action. Um, but action. In, in but reality, in, in reality, the computer doesn't know the computer this, doesn't computer know just this and the computer out, just has to figure first out what the first of all what the features are, and second of all what, and second are, are, what are the features that people like, features that people and, like what are the scores and what are the scores that people that the movies give that, the features. So this is not obvious. So for that we need machine so this is what so we're gonna this is now. what we're gonna answer how now. to find the how right to find the right factorization so let's say this is so the user. let's say this is the user so this is the this is the person, this is the, this the, machine, person, learning the machine learning professional and machine learning and professional, is thinking, machine learning professional is, of is thinking of a matrix of a matrix and then a computer and then comes in, a computer comes and in tries and matrix. tries to factor this matrix so so the computer says, okay, the computer is your matrix, okay, the is your matrix of these two product of these two small ones and the human says nope so the computer goes back. So the computer goes and back. Then it comes back again. And then it comes back actually, again and says, "Actually, is your matrix a product, of, matrix these two product matrices? of these two other matrices?" And the human says, "Yeah, still no." And the human no. says, yeah, still no." So the computer goes back to some computer calculations. Back to some calculations and comes back and says, "Hey, comes back and says, hey uh, is your matrix a product, uh, of, these matrix a product of these two? And then, and at some point, then, the human, says, some point, the human uh, says, "You know what? Uh, that's machine close learning. You never say. Machine learning. You never say. That's good. That's good." Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, so that's kind of the, uh, the so that's process, kind of the, in, the process in, in most algorithms in machine learning. You try get a little better, get a little, get a little better, better, get a little better until you get something good. Um, I can be more specific. Um, I can be more specific. So what we're really doing, so is, we're really doing is called gradient descent. And gradient descent and is gradient widely, descent machine is widely and machine learning. Uh, how this is uh, how so this is the point so where, is the point where we want to get. Our matrix is in the middle. Our target matrix. And the two factors are the one on the top and the one on the left of it. Two matrices whose product is, whose supposed, product to is supposed to be the one in the middle. Uh, so uh, notice, that, so I notice change, that I made a small change. I don't have the check mark and the X anymore. I have, a green, more. I have a green one and a red zero. And so red zero. The one is corresponding to the check mark and the zero is corresponding to the cross and they work the same as before. So. So how do we get how do we get that to find matrix on the that top, matrix on the top and that matrix on the left, which, which are ideal? Well, we start with well, some, start random, with some values, random values and then, and then get better and better and better. And better. And better. And so we hopefully get to something pretty good. So let's start with random values. So let's start with random values. 
here we have a matrix of random, a matrix values, of on random values on the left where they use her feature where matrix, use her feature matrix. matrix with random values with random values on top for the feature, 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 feature bear and, and notice that I don't have comedy and action anymore I just have two features I just have two features F1 and F2 because all we know is that there are some features maybe you can describe them or maybe not maybe you can just know that there are certain type of movies and certain other type of movies and that's it and the question is how do we pick that two well that's called a hyperparameter so that's just we we try a few different numbers to see how we can do better but for now let's try to find it with two features so the product of these two matrices we're going to put it here and what's the product of these two matrices it's going to be this way so let me show you a bit of how to find these numbers is basically the same as before except the dot product is now a little more general how do we find for example how do we find for example this 1.44 the dot product the dot product of these column these column and this row and this row and what we're going to do dot product is the is the the corresponding take the corresponding elements and multiply them and add them all together so we take for example the first entry in both the 1.2 and the 0.2 and multiply those and then the second entry is the 2.4 and the 0.2 and we multiply those add them together add them together and get 1.4 and get 1.4 so that is the dot product if you notice that if you have a 0 and a 1 like the four, the dot really product is really the saying I'm going to add the one corresponding to the one and, 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 and not add the one. So it's the same thing. So it's the same thing, same thing except a little more. Different. And so we do that for and so we do that for every entry and we a matrix full of entries. A matrix full of entries. Probably not the ones we want. Probably not the ones we want. But we're going to see how far we are. We're going to see how far we are. So we're going to compare it to the original matrix, to the target matrix, the one we want to find. We're going to look at them. We're going to look at them. Compare every entry and see how we're doing. We compare. We that compare 1. that 1.44 on the top left corner with this 3 over here, and we'll say, okay, we'll say, okay. the computer comes with the, the computer comes with 1.44 and, and says, how am I doing? And we have a 3, and we say, well, I guess you're doing all right, but, you're doing all right, but you're three. not exactly at my what 3. Do do? What do we need to do to get this 1.44 closer, closer to the 3? Well, we need to increase the 1.44. So what do we do to increase the 1.44? Well, we need to increase these values, by, increase a little these bit. values by a little bit. These values by a little bit. These values by a little bit. And so, and let's, so say let's, let's say we increase them. Let's say we increase them by a little bit. So the point two will turn into point three. Uh, et so here we increase the values a little bit. Here we increase the values a little bit. We have one point four, two point five, zero point three, and zero point six. We find the dot product. We find the dot product. And now we get a one point nine two. So that's closer to three than one point four four. Than one point four four. So okay, let's move on to the next entry. So okay, let's move on to the next entry now. The next entry now. We calculated. And it's 1.8 in this dot product of these new values. And uh, 1.83, uh, well, we're going to compare it to this one over here. And, one here, and, it, one over here, and it turns out that, 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 that it's too high. high. We want to get to a 1. We have 1.83. So, so, what do we do? Well, we need to decrease this. And to decrease this, we will decrease the entries on top and the entries on the left. We decrease them by a little bit and then move on to the next entry. And then we do this repeatedly. And, repeatedly. and, uh, believe, it and uh, believe it or not, eventually we get to do something pretty good. And with some luck and a lot of a lot of computer power, we get to, we get to something uh, more. Now I didn't uh, now say, I didn't how, much we say how much we increase or decrease. Right? 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 You said a small value. So how do we know the small value? Well, now we need to do some, well, calculus. We to do some calculus. So what we need to do, so what we need to do is. Is we're going to define an error function, and an error function is basically a way to tell the computer how badly it's doing. So it's not enough to just tell it, hey, your matrices don't work. If we find it, we're able to quantify how badly the matrices don't work. If we say, okay, the error is 10 or 5 or 2, then the computer knows a little more because it knows how to decrease that error function. This error function concept is used widely in machine learning. Most algorithms have. So the way it works is this. I mean, so the way it works is this. Before we have that the computer, we have that the computer how asked doing, you how he's doing, and the user says, and the user uh, says uh, no, 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 no. Now the computer comes in. Now the computer comes in. With two matrices. With two matrices. And and we say, hey, hey, uh, hey, you were wrong, hey, by, uh, you were wrong by ten point three. The computer comes in with a slightly better matrix. Slightly better matrix. So we say, hey, you were wrong by five point three two. And then it comes with better matrix. Then it comes with better matrix. Then hey, you were wrong by one point twenty three. And maybe that's small enough. So we're happy. So we say, okay. 
that as the answer. I'm going to take that as the answer. So now I'm going to show you so how I'm to find, show you this, how error, find out of this error, error, how to error, define an error, to tell how far it is, how from, the far it is from the actual answer. So let's recall. So let's recall that this is where that we get. This is where we want to get. That's our matrix, matrix, in, matrix in the middle. Target matrix, matrix in the middle. And then top and on the left. On top and on the left. So again. So again. Let's look at, let's look the, same at the same random, the same random before, numbers we had before. And, and the entries that we get. The entries in that we get in, in, in the matrix. Uh, left. Uh, in so the we're going to so compare this 1.44 with this 3. With this three. How do we compare 1.44 with a 3? Well, the difference is. Seems Place like a right. Three minus to go, one right? Three four. minus one point four four. Or one point four four minus or three. Minus three. Um, hard to tell which one is better. Hard to tell which one is better because positive one is, is negative. Positive so actually, to get, rid so of actually to get, to get rid of this ambiguity, uh, we're going to take the square. Uh, we're going to take the square so of the difference. Three minus so one point four four minus one point four four square. That's always going to be positive. And that's going to tell us how far. going to tell us how far these numbers are apart. So that's it. That's the difference. So that's it. That's the difference. That's an error between the first two entries. Then we move on to the second. Entry and we do the same thing. We take the square, the difference of the squares, one point three seven minus one one minus one point three seven square, and then we want to the third entry, the third and, entry so and, so and so on and so forth. And so, the and so the error is simply gonna be it's simply gonna the be sum the of the sum squares of the squares of the differences each pair of each pair of entries in the matrix, each corresponding pair of entries. And uh, now and, there's an uh, error. And now so there's an error. And so how do you an increase error. Well, this an error? Is well, this is a, a common method known as grading descent. And I'm getting too much detail in this video, but there's, video, but there's uh, other videos, uh, some, other videos on this channel where you can we can look at grading descent. And you what here you do here is you decrease the error, the error by taking by the derivative taking the derivative of the error and walking, the error the and walking so in that direction. So we want to do is we want to find this derivative, find this derivative. And, derivative is and the derivative is going to tell us by how much, much we by how much we should go down up or in down order to in order to decrease the, the error the most. So that is the method. So that is the method the called grading the set. And so what we do is we apply it repeatedly on all these entries. On all these entries, we get eventually we the get numbers on the right numbers on the matrix on the top on the matrix on the left. To find the right okay. factorization. To find the right factorization. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's, so that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's the matrix factorization algorithm. Uh, now let's look at how to use now this. let's look at right? how to use this. Right? Right? Because we saw that it helps us. The matrix factorization helps us with storage. It also helps us with what we really want to do, which is predict so rating. This is how the so this is how the Netflix looks. It actually doesn't, look like, the it actually doesn't look like the one the beginning we saw at the because beginning not every user because not every user rates every movie. movie. The, the matrix, matrix is actually very sparse. And it looks like this. And what we want to do is we want to fill in the so blanks. We so we take this matrix and, take this somehow, matrix find and somehow find a way to factor it something on top and something on the left. And the, and the way to factor it is the same as before. And the way to factor it is the same as before. We take we the take the difference, the difference and, use and use gradient and descent. The difference is now just and the difference is now just this, the, the difference of the, the difference of the squares of the entries that we have. We don't take the entries that we don't have. Once but anyway, once we are able to find these two matrices, to find that, these two that, matrices approximate the, that approximate the, the whose product, product, product approximate this matrix, then, then we can actually fill in the blanks by taking the dot product, product of rows and columns. So we fill in the blanks like so this. These white ones so these white the ones are the predicted ratings for each user and movie that, movie that yet. don't exist yet. And now what do we do? And now well, what do we do? If for well, example, if for example Dana comes in, comes in and she hasn't seen and movie, she hasn't one, seen movie three, one and movie three, which one do we recommend? Do well, we recommend? It turns out that, well, it turns uh, out that uh, movie three, between movie one and movie three, the highest predicted rating is, movie three, is, is five. movie three, which is five. So we recommend, so we recommend movie, three, movie three to Dana. And that is pretty much it. And that is Thank pretty much it. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. As you can. Okay. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious. Let's say the first word. Okay. Okay. Maryam. Maryam. How are you? How are you? Are you okay? 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 أول حاجة أول حاجة في اللي أنت قلتيها كانت مشكلة مهمة إن إحنا ما عندناش أصلا ديتا لكل اليوزرز كويس تمام فدلوقتي أنت أنت افترضت إن أنا عندي ديتا أصلا جبتيها منين؟ أنا يعني ما حدش يقعد أصلا يدخل الديتا دي عنده كلها دي أول حاجة 
حاجتين يعني الفيديو ده بصراحه عجبني قوي ان هو ما شاء الله بسلاسه جدا سبحان الله اتنقل من كونسبت ماتريكس فاكتورايزيشن كويس الى كونسبت اسمه جراديانت ديسنت ده مهم جدا 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 عندنا هتكلم عنه ان شاء الله بكره او بعده يعني على حسب الوقت ربنا يدبر لنا الامر سبحانه وتعالى كويس يبارك في الاوقات يا بكره ان شاء الله نتكلم عنه كونسبت مهم جدا حلو الحاجه الثالثه بقى اللي هو عملها اللي هي اللي هي الرائعه كويس ان هو قدم لنا فعلا تكنيك في الماشين ليرنينج في بروبلم واضحه الناس عارفاها كويس طيب لو حد عنده سؤال يساله لان الفيديو انا شايف ان هو مهم وزي ما انتم شايفين كده احنا مش بنفوكس على الماثيماتكس ده اللي كنت بحاول برده نوصله الماث مهم وكل حاجه اقول لك ان الكلام ده كله اصلا بالبايثون ما شاء الله ما بياخدش بفضل لا بياخدش حاجه زي ما انتم كده الحمد لله الايجن فاليوز والفيكتورز ديتيرمنت مثلا الحاجات دي كلها ايه بتبقى ما شاء الله اكوادها جاهزه وسلسه ان شاء الله تعالى يعني لما الاصل عندنا افهم البروبلم اعمل الموديل بتاعي اعرف الداتا انبوت صح اعرف الـ الـ وهكذا فانا عايز اسئله لان اكيد اكيد في اسئله اكيد حاجات مش واضحه في الفيديو لان الفيديو انا شايف ان هو مش مش بيجنر الفيديو ده مودريت او ادفانسد كمان ايه اتفضلي ايه هو انا هو انا في الفيديو ده ايه اللي هو بيعمل فاكتورايزيشن وكلام من ده بس, بس لو انا ما عنديش اللي هو الفيتشر اللي هو بتاع الكوميدي والاكشن ده ازاي اعمل بيت بثلاثة في الاخر يعني هي اخر جزء لا بص يا ايس اولكس عز... انا اسف قطعتك معلش انا اسف اتفضلي كملي هي اخر جزئيه بس اللي هو لو ما فيش عندي فيتشرز اللي هم اللي هم الكوميدي والاكشن بعمل الفاكتورايزيشن والرانك على اساس سؤالك قوي جدا جدا وسؤالك ده كور في الماشين ليرنينج لو تفتكروا امبارح كنا بنتكلم عن الثري تايبس اوف ماشين ليرنينج سوبرفايزد وان سوبرفايزد ري انفورسمنت كويس وقلنا ان في السوبرفايزد والان سوبرفايزد في الاثنين لازم يكون عندي ديتا وده اللي حصل للاسف احنا وقعنا في الفخ بتاع فيسبوك وبتاع واتساب وبتاع تليجرام وبتاع يوتيوب وبتاع سوشيال ميديا كلها عموما وقدمنا الداتا خلاص مرحله الداتا دي هي خلصت الداتا موجوده كتيره جدا 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 ولسه كنت من من شويه ببص على داتا سيتس بتاعه كاجل كويس الوف الالوف داتا مرميه على الانترنت كويس فالداتا موجوده في منها ثلاث انواع بقى زي ما قلنا او المشين لانك في ثلاث انواع سوبرفايزد في داتا بالريزلتس يعني في داتا بالتاج جاهزه، يعني كل تاج عملناه في فيسبوك ساعد فيسبوك ان هي تايدنتيفاي او ان هي تحسن الماشين ليرنينج بتاعها. لانه بقى عارف ان ده وش انسان، ده وش مثلا ده القطه بتاعت فلان، ده مش عارف وهكذا. كويس؟ فالداتا موجوده كتير جدا جدا يا اي، سواء سوبرفايزد مع الليبل بتاعها، انسوبرفايزد اللي شبه بعض مع بعض من غير ليبل او بري انفورسمنت ليرنينج ده الموضوع الثاني بقى اللي هو ايه؟ يتعلم من غير داتا. بالتارجت بس اوبجكتيف، وهو في الحاله دي السوبرفايز ليرنينج موجود اصلا يعني ده موجوده فعلا انا انا بسمع عن الريكومنديشن بتاع الموفيز ده من سنين السنين يعني من 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 التسعينيات هم بيحضروا اصلا في الموضوع ده وفي حاجه اسمها اي ام دي بي يا اما الداتا بيس بتاعت موفيز وكلام من ده كويس شايف الموضوع ده من سنين يعني فالداتا موجوده كتير جدا جدا هم عارفين كويس بعدين الـ 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 الميديا برودكشن عشان يحسن في السيرش وكده بي بي بيقدم ميت داتا كتير فالداتا الداتا موجوده 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 يعني شكرا جزيلا يا اي على السؤال الجميل ده في حاله سؤال تاني ما شاء الله كل بسم الله ما شاء الله يعني الدنيا واضحه والامور مفهومه تمام طيب زي الفل ااا اقول ايه طيب هو هنا في السلايدز بقى هيبدا يتكلم عن الاس في دي كويس ااا لكن قبل ما نتكلم عن الاس في دي بقى هنا عايزينكم تعالوا على جنب نبص احنا بقى على السنجلر فاليو دي كومبوزيشن اول ايه الاس في دي هي السنجلر فاليو دي كومبوزيشن ماتريكس اس دي كومبوزد اول طريقه الايجن دي كومبوزيشن ثاني طريقه الاس في دي الاس في دي الماتريكس دي كومبوزد انتو سنجلر فيكتورز اند سنجلر فاليوز الماتريكس اي 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 جي ام اف ان كان بي كومبوزد انتو برودكت اوف 3 ماتريسيز فانا عايز هفكر في الماتريكس بتاعتي ان هي برودكت اوف 3 ماتريسيز اي بيساوي يو دي في ترانسبوز كويس ال U وال V الاثنين مع بعض orthogonal matrices كويس ال U وال V orthogonal matrices كويس و شوية ماثيماتكس بقى تعالى نشوفها ايه في ال في الفيديو احسن ان شاء الله ده مفيش طويل ان شاء الله زي اللي فات يعني اه الفيديو ده ايه هتحس بقى بفرق شديد جدا في الفيديو ده عن الحاجات اللي قبله لان ده بقى ايه ليكتشر بحت يعني كويس هاخد منه حتة صغيرة بس قوي 
given, so, the, given the, these are the applications, let me now tell you the first, now tell you the first data, data dimensionality reduction, reduction technique we will talk and about. This, this and this, this is called the SVD, for the singular value decomposition. And the way we think, about, way we think about this is that the input to our method is a matrix. We have here that in the slides, يو دي آه يو دي في ترانسبوز كويس هنا عاملها ايه السمشن واعتقد طبعا دي ستانفورد يونيفرستي فهي اكيد اصح من ابوها بكتير يعني كول So now every document is represented as a long vector of zeros. When zero means that the word does not appear in the document, and one means that the given word appears. I could also think, for example, of this data matrix as a set of, as we will talk about later, of movies and users. Right? So I can think of every row as a user, and I can think of every column as a user, and I can think of every column as a user. And then you have one a very one column in a given pair column row pair, pair if a given user, watched, a given user a given watched. So a given this user. is my input. So this is my input. And what data matrix. And what I want to do is I want, I want to do the following. I want to take this matrix and I want to represent it, and as, I want a to represent it as a product of three matrices. I, I will call them u sigma okay. and this is called the okay. singular and this is called the singular so, matrix. Matrix. so I take my original matrix, matrix and I represent it using a product of three different matrices. And these three different matrices have some constraints. So let so let me explain this to you. We say, so that our we say that our matrix A is a product of U, sigma, where v, the where column U, the the matrix U, U, the matrix U is of size n times R, so it has n rows and R columns, and this matrix we will call its stores left singular vector. So it's of size n times R, right? And you can think of this R as concepts for later, but for now, the important thing is that R, we can think of R as a very small number. Okay? Then, then I have so I have the so matrix of left singular vectors. vectors. Then, then I have a special matrix. I call it sigma. This is, this is the vector uh, matrix of singular values. values. And this, and this is, is a diagonal matrix, matrix basically that that, can, that is of size r times r, r, and basically it has zeros everywhere except on the diagonal. diagonal. Okay, so, so only basically, basically this matrix is two zeros only on the diagonal that are non-zero elements, elements, and these non-zero non elements I call singular values. values. And what we will also assume is that these singular values are sorted in the decreasing order, so, so the, the, the largest singular value comes first, first and then the second largest, and so on. And then, and then the, the last um, exact, uh, matrix, matrix that we have is the matrix V, and, and this is the matrix that we call that it stores the, 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 the right singular vectors. vectors. So, so the size of this matrix will be n times r, where uh, n is the number of columns in our original matrix A, and again r in this case is some small uh, number. We can think of this r as basically being the, the rank of the matrix A. So يبقى خدت بالكم بس من الحته دي دي الحته اللي تهمني قوي في الشرح كويس ان هو هنا قسم الانبوت ماتريكس الى 3 ماتريسيز كويس الاي الانبوت داتا وزي ما هو قالها انا سهل جدا ان اطلع من الدوكيمنت بتاعتي الترمز اللي جواها جوا مثلا الدوكيمنت دي سي يو ار ال ارتكل على الانترنت او كتاب او كلام من ده ايه اهم الكلمات اللي جواه ده انا ببدا اقسمهم لثلاث حاجات الحاجه الاولى اللي هي ليفت سينجلر فيكتورز العلاقه ما بين الدوكيمنت والكونسبتس واليوزر والكونسبتس عادة بيكون اقل من الترمز كويس ان الكونسبت الواحد جوه اكتر من تيرم فهو برضه هي ستيل طريقه عايز يوصل زي ما كده بايه بتاع نتفليكس عمل ان هو لما زي ما حط ما بين اليوزر والموفيز في النص الاكشن والكوميدي مثلا هنا برضه عايز نفس الفكره كده تقريبا يعني بس بطريقه مختلفه نفس الفكره بس بطريقه مختلفه ان الليفت سينجلر فيكتورز دي هتبقى اول حاجه بين الدوكيمنتس والكونسبتس بعد كده هنا بقى في الرايت سينجلر فيكتور دي ما بين التيرمز والكونسبتس حلو وفي النص الاسترينث of each concept يبقى هو كده مسك الترمز طلع اللي خلني انبوت دوكيمنتس والترمز حط كونسبت جديد اللي هو الكونسبت في النص ده على سبيل المثال مثلا موضوع معين كويس ماشين ليرننج مثلا او كلام من ده او ايا كان حلو فماشين ليرننج دي تحت بقى ترمز ايه كذا وكذا ترمز دي اللي هي كلمه كويس كلمه او كلمتين تلاته على بعض يعني بنسميها ترم كويس فانا عندي الدوكيمنتس والترمز ليفت سينجلر بقى الدوكيمنتس والكونسبت الرايت واللي في النص ماشي ليس اسف اللي هي السيجما الاسترينث اوف ايتش كونسبت والرايت هو الايه هو ال ال الترمز والكونسبت اعتقد الجزء ده كافي جدا في ال في ال في الفيديو 
لغايه الدقيقه الثالثه كفايه مش ضروري ان خلاص كله يعني لان انا بقى ايه زي ما قلنا انا مش هقعد احسب ماتيماتكس هو بقى اللي جاي بقى يقعد بقى ايه يحسب ماتيماتكس فيه وكلام من ده يعني طيب آه قفزه غير مفهومه بالنسبه لي في الحقيقه في السلايدز ان هو طلع بقى من الديكومبوزيشن على المور بينروزي سودو انفرس <تصفيق> كويس تمام ايه البور من روزي سيدي انفرس ده انه هي على فكره اللي بعدها على طول في السلايدز يعني كويس هي طريقه انا بسولف بيها لينير ايكويشنز كويس فانا في الحقيقه برده كان المفروض ان انا اصلا ازود هنا جزء عن سولفينج اند سيل ابوت سولفينج لينير ايكويشنز او انا افترضت ان هي واضحه لكن برده ايه القفزه غير مبرره خالص يعني تمام او مش غير وراها الموضوع مهم بس هو القفزه تبقاش كده يعني ان ان سولفينج لينير ايكويشنز اصلا اعتقد ان هو واضح ما مش محتاج ما خلي بقى مش الكلمه دي بتغزني قوي يعني لو ليها حاجه ان نجيب هو كان في كان في فيديو لطيف كده من خان اكاديمي كويس لا كانش من خان سولفينج لينير ايكويشنز خلينا نشوف ليهم حاجه ولا وضع معلش ما تمتش امبارح كنت زودت لها سبحان الله فيديو حاجه زي كده يعني اا هي في كل الاحوال يعني هي لينير ايكويشن انتوا عارفينها كويس جدا دي حاجه الجاوسن اليمينيشن كلنا حافظين وصم يعني في <تصفيق> في ثانويه عامه كلنا ايه بنطحن فيه فاهم من قبل ثانويه عامه كمان من قبل ثانوي يعني الجاوسن اليمينيشن ده ايه صديق ال صديق الناس كلها يعني تعال كده شوف الايه الفيديو ده لو ظبط ممكن ابوز الريكورد ثواني كده لو تعال نشوف ده الاول وبعدين نكمل كلام What are properties What are properties about, about systems, systems and linear equations? Linear equations? Is they, they have they only, have only either, zero, either zero, one, one, infinitely or many infinitely many different solutions. So those are the three different, so those are the three different possibilities we can have. And what I'm going to do in this video is I have an example of each of them. Previously, previously, while we've seen, seen how to deal with what happens if there's just a unique solution, we are going to do these row operations and try to turn that into its upper triangular form. I'm going to show you in this video how we deal with the other case when there's Infinitely many solutions, or, no or when there's no solution. So let's do the one, so on, the let's do the one on the left first. Now, all, now, three matrices, all three of these matrices look almost, look the, same. almost the same. They're two a two-by-two two system, by two system and, two variables, and two, two variables, variables two different equations. And they're mostly, and they're mostly ones, but, ones, but possibly just one zero. Just you're going to see that it's really sensitive. Small little differences, Small little differences like one, 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 one turns into a zero can make all the difference between zero, one, or infinitely many solutions. So remember, so our, first remember our first goal is to, is to put try to put a zero here. here. We have this sort of leading one on the top. We want to put a zero underneath it. That's our ideal form. So I'm going to continue. So I'm going to continue. Gaussian elimination, صح? Gaussian elimination. سريعا كده. مش عارف كبيرة تبقى موضحة كويس. هم three rules. كويس. بالظبط كده الثري رولز اللي مسموحين لي علشان احل بيها اي لينير سيستم كويس لينير ايكويشنز ان انا ابدل سوابنج تو رولز تو روز اسف انا ابدل الصف ده مكان الصف ده طبعا دي دي اسمها الاوجمنتد ماتريكس اللي فيها الريزلتس هنا والانبوتس هنا فلو انا مثلا بقول اسف اي اكس زائد بي واي اي اكس واحد زائد بي اكس اثنين زائد سي اكس ثلاثه هيساوي مثلا دبليو واحد فده الايه ده ال ال اي والبي والسي لان دول الايه فيكتور اكس 1 فيكتور اكس 2 فيكتور اكس 3 فانا عايز احل الاشكال ده بحله ازاي ان انا بحاول اخلي الاثنين دول اصفار ودي بواحد فجيب اكس 3 من هنا اقول اكس 3 بتساوي الرقم اللي عندي هنا ذن يبقى عندي دول بحاول اخلي ده صفر عشان كده هو ايه ترانجولر زيروز اخلي ده بصفر ويبقى عندي هنا اكس 2 واكس 3 فانا عارف اكس 3 اصلا من هنا اعوض دي في دي سبستيتيوشن اقوم بقى ايه اجيب اكس 2 ودي بتكون هي اكس 1 اكس 2 اكس 3 عادي فدي فكرة ان انا عايز اخلي التلاتة دول بصفار عشان اخلي التلاتة دول بصفار عندي تلاتة اوبريشنز بروف ان هما مش بيغيروا في اللينير سيستم بتاعي كويس يعني بسواب تو روز ابدل صفين مكان بعض او ملتبلاي ارو باي نان زيرو نمبر اضربه في رقم ما يكونش صفر او ان انا ازود اجمع اجمع مش ازود اجمع ملتبل ضرب صف على صف تاني فعلى سبيل المثال لو عندي هنا الصف ده والصف ده والصف ده انا ممكن ممكن اجمع ده على ده فكده مثلا يبقى ايه بقى ده بصفر لو انا عايز اعمل كده مثلا يعني 
كويس او اضرب ده في حاجه واجمعه على حد تاني او ابدل صفين مكان بعض في الرولز بتاعت جوسن اليمينيشن عشان اوصل للايه للمنظر ده وانا بقى يستخدم نفس الثري رولز دول علشان يبروف بقى هل اللينير سيستم ده له حل زيرو ولا 1 ولا ميني كويس لما ملوش حل ولا له حل واحد ولا له اكتر من حل ذن بقى عشان نخلص الحته دي ندخل بقى على الايه الحته بتاعه آه اللي في السلايدز اللي هي مو آه مور بنروزي سودو انفرس ده علشان آه احل بيه الايه اللينير ايكويشنز يعني كويس فانا بس ايه رجعت لورا سنه عشان اوري ايه الحته دي ظهرت معايا في فرصه ان اخبص ان ذا فين ان وات اي وونت تو دو از تو بوت ا زيرو ذير از اي جونا تيك ذا سكند رو ان اي ام جوين تو بوت ان بلايس اوف ات ذا سكند رو ماينس ذا فيرست رو So that doesn't change the first row at all. I can just copy and paste the first row. But then if I'm trying to subtract the the first row from the second row, I go one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero, and zero minus one is minus one. So this is what happens when I try to reduce this particular matrix. However, if I read off the bottom row here, what this, what this tells me is that 0x1 plus 0x2 is equal to minus 1. In other words, it's telling me that 0 is equal to minus 1. This cannot be. There is no x1 and x2 that has the property that this linear combination of them is going to be equal to minus 1. So this tells me that I have no solutions. Or another way to write it is to say that it is inconsistent all right let's all right let's look at the second one so same process so i'm going to focus on trying to put a zero in this location and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to take my second row and in its place i'm going to take the second row minus the first row and again and again that does not change the first row but now i go one minus one is zero one minus one is zero and one minus one last time one last time is one more zero now there's now, something sort of, there's something sort of here. If interesting to note here. If I look at this bottom equation in this scenario, if I look at the bottom, row, this, is the bottom row, this is a totally, this is a totally pointless, pointless row. row. It just tells me, it just tells me that zero x one plus zero x two is just equal to zero. Well, 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 well done. It doesn't matter. I'm not getting any new information. Or another way to put it on is I'm not putting any constraint on the variables x one or x two. In a sense, I have a little bit of freedom here. That normally, that, that I, normally I had two different equations that would constrain my variables, but, but, but now I only have one equation that's constraining them, the first of them. So what I'm so going to do, do is this. I'm going to let x2, it could be x1, but I'm going to let x2. And I'm going to let x2 equal to s. And when I do this, I'm thinking of s as just some arbitrary free parameter. So this s is a free parameter. It could be anything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what x1 is in terms of this parameter, which could be anything. So I'm going to say, therefore, from the first row, x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. So in other words, x1 plus that that value that I'm substituting in, which is s is equal to 1. Or in other words, x1 is equal to 1 minus s. So if I take those things together, what you'll notice is that there are what you'll notice is that there are infinitely, infinitely many, possible many possible solutions. Infinitely, infinitely many solutions. Why? Why? Well, well, choose any number, choose any you, number might like. S you might like. How about 100? Then, that, then can that can be my x2. And my x1, and and my x1 one is going to be 1 minus 100 or minus 99 in this. So for any value, so for any value s, that s that you can get, get we get a pair x1, x2, which is going to solve this system of linear equations. And so the idea, and so is, the idea is effectively, when you have when these zero rows that don't put any constraints, then, then you get some and freedom, and you just make one of these variables, in this case the x2, a so-called free variable or a free parameter. It could just be any arbitrary symbol s, and then you figure out, then you the figure out what the other variables can be in terms of that free parameter s. Of that free parameter s.
And then in this final, and then in this one, final one, it's already, it's in, that already that in that form that I want to have, where I've, want to have where I've got a, a leading one here, and, here, and then a zero and beneath it, and then another leading one here. I actually don't need to do anything. It's already in its ideal situation. And I can just read off. So if I look at it, the second equation, I get x2 is equal to 1, so that's one answer. And then for the first equation, I get x1 plus x2 is equal to 1, so in other words, X1 plus, X1 one, is plus equal to one, 1 is equal to 1, or in other words, or in other words one X1 is equal to 0. So in other words, so in other I'm, words going I'm going to just get one solution, a unique solution. So the key difference, so the key between, difference these between these three examples is that after I do my, after row, I do my row operations, put it, put it in that ideal upper triangular form, form. The, bottom the bottom rows look very different. On the first one, on the first it was, one, all, it was zeros all zeros with a variable and then a non-zero non constant. In the second one, it was all, zero, one was both all zeros, both, both in the coefficients and in the constant. And then in the final one, it was all zeros, but there was that one non-zero coefficient and the non-zero non constant, and that, constant. and that gave us the unique solution. So it's all so about reducing, all about it, down reducing it down to these uh, ideal, uh, forms, ideal forms, looking at these rows, at these and, rows and saying, is there a contradiction there? Is there a freedom there? Or is there a unique solution? video advanced elimination. اللي هي حاجه اسمها ريديوسد رو اتش ان فورم وانا مش عارف في حاجه الكلام ده يعني انتوا اكيد عدتوا على الكلام ده قبل كده بس مش فاكر بقى فاكرينه ولا لا فعشان كده بس ان ايه بعدي عليه تعالى بقى نشوف مور بنروز سودو انفرس دي هو في كونسبت سودو انفرس هو كونسبت كويس يعني هو كونسبت مور بنروز سودو انفرس سولوشن اوف ا سيستم اوف لينير ايكويشنز سبوز يو هاف ا سيستم اوف لينير ايكويشنز تو سولف but you have more equations than unknowns. The system is described as y equals ax. Suppose also that we're given the a matrix and the y vector and we want to know the x vector. For this work it will be assumed that redundancies are removed from the a matrix. That means columns that are multiples or linear combinations of other columns are removed. Try looking at the MATLAB command subspace. Sometimes people write this as AX equals B. If the A matrix were a square matrix and had an inverse, we could proceed as follows. Y equals AX. Pre-multiply both sides by A inverse. A inverse A is just the identity matrix. So A inverse times Y would give the desired X vector. We wish to look at the case, look at the case where, a where a is not square. Then the usual a inverse, the usual cannot, a inverse be cannot be formed. However, However pseudo inverses can be used. There are multiple kinds. Let's take a more detailed, Let's look, take a more at detailed look at the system. Here are the coefficients, are for, the the coefficients for the a matrix. The x vector, the x vector and the y vector, y vector are, written are written out explicitly. And now things are grouped, and in, now things are grouped in their typical bracket presentation. Here I've written the A matrix Here written the to, a matrix to emphasize the fact emphasize that, the fact there, are that there are more rows than columns, than columns in the problems we're talking, the problems we're talking so about. There so there are more than equations than there are unknowns. There are multiple ways of saying, there are multiple ways of saying this. Matrix the matrix index, m is, index m, m is greater than n. The number of rows is greater than the number of columns. The number of rows is greater than the number of variables. Or you can simply say, or you can the, simply system say the system is overdetermined. There are multiple ways to solve, a problem, like ways to solve a problem like this. One solution involves, One solution the, involves the more Penrose pseudo inverse. I'll write the more Penrose pseudo inverse as a dagger. And like the more usual and matrix like inverse, a dagger a is equal to the identity matrix. But commutivity is, but not, commutivity guaranteed is not guaranteed for the more Penrose pseudo inverse. So to solve the linear so system, we proceed, system as we proceed as follows. We pre-multiply both, pre both sides of the by equation the more by the more Penrose pseudo-inverse. However, here, However, here exact equality is exact not guaranteed. Is not guaranteed. Rather, the more Penrose pseudo-inverse pseudo does a least of squares data. fit of the data. As with the usual matrix As with inverse, the usual matrix a dagger a, dagger a, a dagger just equals the identity matrix, matrix. Yielding, at last yielding at last an approximate value for the unknown x vector. And that's how simple it is to use a more Penrose pseudo inverse to solve a linear equation. The derivation of the more Penrose pseudo inverse. So I'm going to write this down. I'm just going to write it 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 down. 
ال problems دي زي ما هو قال من شويه لو عندي عدد ال 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 equations مش بنفس عدد الايه ال variables اللي نشتغل عليها طيب ننسى اللي فات ده خالص كويس تمام فور سولفنج البروبلم ونرجع تاني في حاجه ما اعرفش السلايد دي دخلت في النص ازاي عندهم نرجع تاني هنا بقى ايه حاجه اسمها البي سي اي برنسبل كومبوننت اناليسيز كويس ودي ميثود ستاتستيكال ميثود من الماتريكس دي كومبوزيشن فرجع تاني ايه لدي كومبوزيشن يعني الفيديو ده حلو جدا جدا غير اللي فات في الحقيقه لان في فرق كتير بقى ايه واضح بين المحاضرات الاكاديميه وال يوتيوب الستريشن يعني ال بي سي اي حلو لو مين مين لسه معايا وعايزين بريك ولا لا؟ عايز بريك لان هو الفيديو ده طويل شويه. اللي عايز بريك ممكن يريز هاند اللي مش عايز بريك هو في حال العصر قرب ياذن اصلا صح؟ ااا حد عايز بريك يريز هاند؟ لسه لسه اثنين ونص نكمل عادي؟ قريب نكمل برضه في الحقيقه عشان نخلص ان شاء الله قبل المغرب ان شاء الله. طب حد عارف البي سي اي؟ ممكن يشرح لنا او كده؟ كلكم عارفينها صح؟ اللي عارف الناس من عندكم كده يرفع ايده، اللي عارف البي سي اي يرفع ايده، مش هقول لكم حاجه والله، بس عارف بس عارفها ولا لا. Principal Component Analysis، حد عارفها؟ يا ريز هاند لو سمحتوا على الزوم. عشان مش شاكك كلكم معايا اصلا، مش شاكك ان حد حاضر مش عارف. هو <تصفيق> الفيديو ده حلو قوي ان شاء الله. سمعت عنها بس ما تعرفهاش طب وهاله منين منين ماده ايوه صح هي برافو عليك صح وعماد عماد سنه ثانيه عرفت منين عماد البي سي اي تقريبا اللي هو تحليل تحليل العناصر يعني مثلا تحليل العناصر يعني مثلا عندي عناصر كتير وعاوز احددها اه مظبوط انا سمعت عنها انا تقريبا كان بيقولوا ان لما يكون عندنا عناصر كتير وعاوزين نوصل الاوت بوت ايه تعب؟ بيحصل كتير ما تعرفهاش فعلا هي ما هي صح برافو عليك هي صح برافو اندرو برافو يا هاله انا كان ضايف كنت عارفها عشان كده كنت كنت عامله سكيب بس تمام مش فيش مشكله خالص بدل ما نعرفهاش نعرفها اكتر يعني ان شاء الله علي عرفت منين يا علي خدنا حاجه شبيهه لها خدنا حاجه شبيهه لها دكتور مع مين مع دكتور ساره مع دكتور ساره دكتور ساره المتولي صح كانت تشرح ساره شاكر ساره شاكر كانت تشرح لنا بس كانت تشرح لنا بس كانت يعني عشان نفهم حاجه ثانيه هو انت كويس ما تعرفهاش قوي ده بالنسبه لي صح فرحني ما خبيتش عليك مش فاهم انكم ما تعرفوش بالعكس فرحنا ان احنا الحمد لله كده ايه الفيديو مفيد ان شاء الله يا رب يعني يا رب السيشن كله مفيد يا رب الكورس كله ان شاء الله تعالى طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هلو هلو انا جوش ستارم ويلكم تو ستاك كويست ان ذس ستاك كويست وي ار جوينج تو جو ثرو برينسيبل كومبوننت اناليسيس بي سي اي وان ستيب ات ا تايم يوزنج سينجولار فاليو دي كومبوزيشن اس في دي يو ليرن اباوت وات بي سي اي دوز هاو ات دوز اند هاو تو يوز ات تو جيت ديبر انسايت انتو يور داتا Let's start with a simple data set. We've measured the transcription of two genes, gene one and gene two, in six different mice. Note, if you're not into mice and genes, think of the mice as individual samples, and the genes as variables that we measure for each sample. For example, For example, the samples could be students in high school, and the variables could be test scores in math and reading. Or the samples could be businesses, and the variables could be market capitalization and the number of employees. Okay, now we're back to mice and genes, because I'm a geneticist and I work in a genetics department. If we only measure one gene, we can plot the data on a number line. Mice one, two, and three have relatively high values, and mice four, five, and six have relatively low values. Even though it's a simple graph, it shows us that mice one, two, and three are more similar to each other than they are to mice four, five, and six. If we measure two genes, then we can plot the data on a two-dimensional x-y graph. 
Gene 1 is the x axis and spans one of the two dimensions in this graph. Gene 2 is the y axis and spans the other dimension. We can see that mice 1, 2, and 3 cluster on the right side, and mice 4, 5, and 6 cluster on the lower left hand side. If we measured three, if we genes, measured three genes, we would add another axis, we would add to, the another axis to the graph and make it look 3D, i.e. three-dimensional. The smaller dots have smaller larger dots values, have larger for, gene values for gene 3 further three away. further away. The larger dots the larger have smaller, dots values, have smaller for values for gene 3, and, three are closer. and are closer. If we measured four if genes, we measured four however, genes we can, no longer, plot we can no longer plot the data. Four genes require four, genes four dimensions. Require four dimensions. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. So we're going to talk, so about, going how to talk about how PCA can take four, can or, take more four or more gene measurements and thus four, and thus or, more dimensions four of data or more dimensions of data and make a two-dimensional two PCA, PCA plot. This plot will show this us, plot that, will show us mice that similar mice together. cluster together. We'll also talk, we'll about, also how talk PCA about how PCA can tell us which gene, tell us which or, gene variable or variable is the most valuable, is the most for, clustering valuable the for clustering the data. For example, for example PCA might PCA tell us that gene, three is, that gene responsible 3 is responsible for separating samples along the x-axis. Lastly, we'll, Lastly talk about how we'll talk about how PCA can tell us how accurate the 2D graph is. To understand what to understand PCA, what PCA and how does works, and how it let's works, go back to the let's go back to the data set that only genes. had two genes. We'll start by, we'll plotting, start the data. by plotting the data. Then we'll calculate then the, we'll average calculate measurement the average measurement for gene 1 and the average measurement, and the average for, measurement gene for gene 2. With the average values, so the average values we can calculate, the, we can center calculate the, the center of the data. From this point on, from this point we'll, on focus on we'll focus on what happens in the graph. We no longer need, the, no original longer need the original data. Now we'll shift the now data, shift so, the that data the so that the center the is on top of the origin in the graph. Note, shifting the data shifting did not the data change, did how, the change how the data points are positioned relative to each, relative other. To each other. This point is still, this the, point highest is still the highest one, and this is still the, right this is still point, the rightmost et point, etc. Etc. Now that the data, now are, that centered the data origin, are centered on the origin, we can try to fit a line, can to, to, fit a line to, to it. Do this, to do this, we start by drawing, we start a, by random drawing a random that line through that origin. goes through the origin. Then we rotate the then line, we rotate until, the line it the until it fits well the data as well as it can, given that it has to, go through, it has to go through the origin. Ultimately, Ultimately this, line fits, this best. line fits best. But I'm getting ahead of but myself. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, we First, need to talk about we how need to PCA talk about how PCA decides if it fit is good or not. So let's go back to so the let's original, go back to the original random line that goes, through, through, the line that goes through the origin. To quantify to quantify how good this line fits the data, fits the data PCA projects, PCA the, data projects the data onto it. And then can either and measure, can the, distances measure the distances the from the data to the line, and try to find the line, that, find minimizes the line that minimizes those distances, or it can try to find, the line, that try to find the line that maximizes the distances from the, distances from the projected from points, the points to the origin. If those options, if those don't, options seem don't seem equivalent to you, we can build intuition, we can build intuition by looking at how these distances shrink, how these distances shrink when, the when the line fits better. While these distances, While these distances get larger, get when, larger the line fits when the line fits better. Now, now to understand what to is, understand going, on what is going on way, in a mathematical way, let's just consider, let's one, just data consider one data point. This point is fixed, this point is and, fixed so is its and so is its origin. distance from the origin. In other words, in other words, the distance from the point, the to, the from the point to the origin doesn't change when, doesn't the, red change dotted when the red line dotted line rotates. When we project the when point, project onto, the point the line, onto the line, we get a right angle, we get a right between, angle the black between the black dotted line, line and the red dotted line. That means that, that means if we label the, that sides, we like label this, the sides like this, A, A B, B, and C, and C then, we can, use the then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to show how B and C are inversely related. Since a, since a and thus a squared, and thus a squared doesn't, change, doesn't change, 
If B gets if bigger, B gets bigger, then C then must C get smaller. Must get smaller. Likewise, Likewise, if C gets bigger, C gets bigger then B, must, then get B smaller. must get smaller. Thus, Thus PCA can either PCA minimize, can either the, distance minimize the, the distance to the line, or maximize or the distance maximize from the projected, the distance from point, projected to the point, point to the origin. The reason I'm making, the reason such, a I'm making such a fuss about this is that, is that intuitively, intuitively, it makes sense to minimize B and the distance from the point to the line. But it's actually, but it's easier, actually to calculate easier to calculate C, the distance from the projected, the distance from the projected to the point to the origin. So PCA finds, so PCA the, best finds the best fitting line by maximizing, line by maximizing the, the sum of the square distances from the projected points, the projected to, the points to the origin. So, for this, so line, for this line, PCA projects, PCA the, data projects the data onto it and then measures the and distance, measures from, this the distance from this origin. point to the origin. Let's call it D Let's sub, it one. D sub 1. Note, I'm Note, going to keep track, of the, to keep track of the distance we measure up here. And then PCA and measures, then PCA the, measures distance the distance from this point to the origin. We'll call that D2. We'll call that D2. Then, it measures D3. then it measures D3. D4. D4. D5. D5. And D6. And D6. Here are all six, are distances, all six that distances that we measured. The next thing we do, the next is, thing square we do is square all of them. The distances are the distances squared, are so, squared that negative so that negative don't values cancel don't positive cancel values. out positive values. Then we sum up, then all, we these sum up all these squared distances. And that equals the, that sum, equals of the, the sum of the squared distances. For short, for we'll short, call this SS we'll call this distances, distances for, sum of, squared for distances. sum of squared distances. Now we rotate the, now line, we rotate the line, project the data, onto, project the the data line, onto the line, and then sum up the and squared, sum distances, up the squared distances from the projected points the projected to the origin. To the origin. And we repeat, and we repeat until we end up with, the line, end up with the, the line with the largest sum of square distances, of square distances between the projected, between the projected points, points and the origin. And the origin. Ultimately, Ultimately, we end up with this we line. End up with this line. It, has the it has the largest sum of square distances. This line is this called, line principal, is called component principal component one, or PC one, or PC for, short. one for short. PC1, PC1 has a slope of 0.25. 0 .25. In other words, in other for, words every for every four that units that we go out along the gene one axis, we go up one go unit, up along, the one unit along the gene two axis. That means that the data that are mostly the data spread out, are mostly along, the spread out along the gene one axis. And only a little bit and only spread, a little out, along bit spread out along the gene two axis. One way to think about one PC way to one think about PC is one is in terms recipe. of a cocktail recipe. To make PC one, to make PC one, mix four parts, mix four gene parts one, gene one with one part, with gene, one two. part gene two. Pour over ice, pour and over serve. ice and serve. The ratio of gene, the ratio one, to of gene, gene two one to gene tells two you gene one tells you that gene one is more when important when it comes to describing, how, comes how, to the describing data how the data are spread out. Oh no! Terminology oh no. alert! Terminology alert! Mathematicians call Mathematicians this cocktail call recipe, this cocktail a, linear recipe combination a linear combination of genes one and two. I mention this. I mention because this when says, because when someone PC1 says PC one is a linear combination of variables, this is what they're talking. This about. is what they're talking about. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. The recipe for PC1, the recipe for PC1 going over four, going and, up over four and up gets one us this point. gets us to this point. We can solve for the length, we can solve the for the length of the red line theory. using the Pythagorean theorem. The old A squared, the old a squared, equals, b squared equals B squared plus C squared. Plus C squared. Plugging in the numbers, Plugging gives, in us the numbers equals gives us A equals 4.12. So the length of the red, so the length line, of the red line is 4.12. When you do PCA, when you do with, PCA SVD, with SVD, the recipe for PC1 is scale, one is so, scale that this so that this one. length equals 1. All we have to do to All scale the triangle, the triangle so that the red line is 1 unit is long is to divide each side by 4.12. For those of you keeping score, for those of you keeping here's, score the math worked out here's the math that worked out that, all we that shows that all we need to do is divide all three sides by 4.12.
Here are the scaled, Here values. Are the scaled values. The new values, change, the new our values recipe. change our recipe. But the ratio is the but same. The ratio is the we same. still use four we times, use as, much four gene times as much as gene, gene one as gene two. So now we are back to so looking now at we're back to the look data. At the, the, data, best fitting line, the best fitting line, and the unit vector, that, the we unit vector that we just calculated. Oh no! Another oh no. terminology alert. Another terminology alert. This one unit long this vector, one unit long consisting, vector of consisting of 0 0.97 parts, parts gene one and 0 0.242 parts gene two is called, singular is called the singular or vector, the vector or the eigenvector for PC one. And the proportions and the of proportions each gene are called loading scores. Also, while, also I'm at it, while I'm at it, PCA calls the PCA sums, of squares, calls the the sums of squares of the distances for the best fit line, the, best fit the, eigen line value the eigenvalue for PC1. And the square root of the, the eigenvalue eigen eigen for PC1 is called the singular value for PC1. Bam. That's, Bam. A, lot of terminology. That's a lot of terminology. Now that we've got PC1 now that we've got PC1 all figured let's out, work on PC2. let's work on PC2. Because this is only because a two-dimensional two graph, PC2 is simply, PC2 the, line is simply the line through the origin that is perpendicular to PC1 without any further optimization, any further that, has optimization that has to be done. And this means that the, recipe, means for that the recipe for PC2 is negative one, one parts gene to one parts gene to four parts gene two. If we scale everything, if we scale so, that everything we get a unit vector, so that we get a unit the vector, is the recipe is negative 0 0.242 parts gene 1 and 0 0.97 parts gene 2. This is the singular, this vector, is the for singular PC2, vector for PC2 or the eigenvector for, the PC2. Eigenvector for PC2. These are the loading scores, These are the for, loading PC2. scores for PC2. They tell us... That they tell us of how that in terms of how the values are projected on onto PC2, gene 2 is four, is four times as important, four times as, important as gene 1. Lastly, the Lastly, eigenvalue for PC2, the eigenvalue for is, PC2 the is the sum of squares of the distances between the projected points and the origin. Hooray! Hooray! We worked out PC1 and, and PC2. To draw, the final PCA to draw the final PCA plot, we simply rotate we simply everything, rotate so, that everything so that PC1 is horizontal. Then we use the projected, then we points, use the projected to points to find where the samples go in the PCA plot. For example, For example these projected points these projected correspond, to sample, correspond to sample 6. So sample 6, so sample goes, six here. goes here. Sample 2 goes sample here. Two goes here. And sample one goes and sample here. one goes here, etc. etc. Double bam. Double bam. That's how PCA is That's done. How PCA using is singular, done value using singular value decomposition. Okay. One okay. last thing. Before one we last dive thing into before we dive into a slightly example. more complicated example. Remember the eigenvalues. Remember the eigenvalues. We got those by we projecting, got those the, data by projecting the, the data onto the principal components, measuring the distances, measuring to, the the distances origin, to the origin, then squaring, and, then adding, squaring them and adding them together. We can convert them into, we can variation, convert them around into the origin, variation around the by origin by dividing by the sample, by dividing size, by the minus sample size minus one. For the sake of this example, for the sake of this example imagine that the variation imagine for PC1, that the variation for PC1 15, equals 15 and the variation for PC2, the variation for PC2 equals 3. Equals three. That means that the total, that means variation, that the total around variation around both PCs is 15, 15 plus 3 equals 18. And that means and that PC1, means PC1 for accounts for 15 divided by 18 equals 0 0.83 or 83% of the total variation around the PCs. PC2, PC2 accounts for 3 divided by 18 equals 17% of the total variation around the PCs. Oh no, another, oh no. Terminology, another terminology alert. A screen plot, a screen is, plot a graphical is a graphical representation of the percentages of variation that each PC, that each PC accounts for. We'll talk more about screen, we'll plots, more later. About screen plots later. Bam! Bam! Okay. Now okay. let's quickly go through now let's quickly go through a complicated example. I don't know if there's an example. Okay. Uh, and complicated, there's no 
يا رب تكون الامور بتوضح كده ان شاء الله تعالى هو احلى حاجه عجبتني بصراحه ده من غير الشرح والفيديو والفيديو كده ان هو بيستخدم الاس في دي عشان يعمل بي بي سي اي كويس فالبي سي اي بي سي اي مهم جدا 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 ان انا اعرف ايه هي الفيكتورز الرئيسيه عندي عشان اعمل بيها ماشين ليرنينج كويس اللي هو بقى الاكزامبل كان عامله ده الجينز والفلان او الحاجات دي ايا كان الاكزامبل اللي عندنا محتاج بي سي اي بالضروره يعني اعتقد هيكون اخر فيديو عندنا النهارده مش ده اللي هو اللي لا مش اخر فيديو ولا حاجه <تصفيق> كويس اللي هو ده كويس انا بس حابب ايه ناخد كده خلفيه طب الشرح ده كله بقى لنا تلت ساعه مثلا بنشرح تلت ساعه بقى لنا ربع ساعه كويس بنشرح طب في الـ في البايثون كده بيتعمل ازاي كويس انا في البايثون كله مش هياخد منها بالظبط ان شاء الله 10 دقائق بال بالمزيكا بتاعت الحطاب في الاول وبتاع وكلام من ده يعني كويس يقول قول اقل من 10 دقائق كمان يكون بالظبط الشعب البايثون ان شاء الله Today we're going to be talking about how to do PCA and Python. It's going to be clearly explained. However, before I get started, I need to have a big shout out to Chris Yogozinski. He wrote the code that I'm going to be talking about, and he's the reason why this stat quest exists to begin with. Here's what we're going to talk about. First, we'll talk about how to make up some data that we can apply PCA to. Then we'll talk about then how to use the PCA function from scikit-learn to do PCA. We'll also talk about how to determine how much variation each principal component accounts for. We'll talk about how to draw fancy PCA graph using matplotlib. And lastly, we'll talk about how to examine the loading scores to determine what variables have the largest effect on the graph. The first thing we do is import the pandas package. Pandas, short for panel data, makes it easy to manipulate data in Python. Then we import the numpy package. Numpy will allow us to generate random numbers and do other mathy things. The random package will be useful for generating an example data set. If you're working with real data, you won't need this package. Here, we are importing the PCA function from scikit-learn. Note, just like R, there are a few Python PCA functions to choose from. The one in scikit-learn is the most commonly used that I know of. The pre-processing package from scikit-learn gives us functions for scaling the data before performing PCA. Lastly, we'll import matplotlib so we can draw some fancy graphs. Python, being a general purpose programming language, doesn't have built-in support for tables of data, random number generation, or graphing like R, so we import all the stuff we need. It's no big deal. Now that we've imported all the packages and functions we need, let's generate a sample data set. The first thing we do is generate an array of 100 gene names. Since this is just an example data set, our gene names are super bored. Gene 1, Gene 2, etc. Now we create arrays of sample names. We have five wild type or WT samples and five knockout or KO samples. If you don't know what wild type or knockout samples are, don't worry about it. Just know that there's two different types of samples. Note, the range 1,6 function generates values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In other words, it generates all integer values from 1 up to the value less than 6. Now we create a pandas data frame to store the made up data. The stars unpack the WT and KO arrays so that the column names are a single array that looks like this. Without the stars, we would create an array of two arrays, and that wouldn't create 12 columns like we want. The G names are used for the index, which means that they are the equivalent of row names. This is where we finally create the random data. For each gene in the index, i.e. gene 1, gene 2, dot, 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 all the way to gene 100, we create five values for the WT samples and five values for the KO samples. 
The made-up data, the made -up data comes from Poisson two Poisson distributions, one for the WT, one for the samples, WT and samples and one for the KO samples. The KO samples. Note. No, RNA sequencing, RNA sequencing aficionados, aficionados will recognize that the Poisson distribution, the Poisson distribution, the Poisson distribution isn't, the right isn't the right one to use for RNA-seq data. data. No big deal. No big this deal. This is just a made-up data, made set, up data so set, so don't worry about it. For each gene, for each gene we, select we select a new mean for the Poisson, Poisson distribution. distribution. The means can vary the means between, can vary between 10, 10 and 1,000. The head method, the head for, our method for our data frame returns the first returns five, rows, first five of rows of data. This is useful for, this verifying, is useful for that verifying that the data look, the, the, way, data we look the way we expect they should. The shape attribute, the shape attribute returns the dimensions, the dimensions of, our of our data matrix. In this case, In this case we get 100, 100, 10, 10, 100 genes, 100 by, genes 10 by 10 total samples. Now that we've created, now that we've a, sample created a sample data set, let's do PCA. Let's do PCA. Actually, Actually, before we do PCA, we, do PCA, we, need to we have to center and scale the data. After centering, after centering the average value, the average for, each value for each gene will be zero. And after scaling, and after scaling the standard deviation, the standard deviation for, for the values for each gene will be one. Notice that we are passing in, are passing in the transpose of our data. The scale function the scale expects, function the, samples expects the samples to be in instead rows of instead of columns. Note. No. We use samples as, columns, use samples in as example, columns in this because example that is often because that is often data how genomic is data is stored. If you have other data, if you, have other you, data, can, store you can store it however is easiest for you. There's no requirement There's that, no the, requirement samples that the samples be rows or columns. Just be aware that if, it, be is aware columns, that if it is columns, you'll need to transpose, you'll need to transpose it before analysis. It before analysis. One, other note. one other note. This is just one this way just to one use scikit-learn to center and scale the data. So that the means for each gene are zero. And the standard deviations for each gene are one. Alternatively, Alternatively we could have used standard scalar, standard scalar fit, underscore fit underscore transform. The second method is the more second commonly, method is used, more for commonly used for machine learning. And that's what scikit-learn was, was, scikit was, scikit was designed to do. That's why it's available. That's why it's available. One last note about One last scaling, note about scikit scaling learn with scikit-learn versus using scale, versus using scale or percomp per in R, to, in do the R scaling. to do the scaling. In scikit-learn, scikit variation, variation is calculated, variation as, calculated the as, as the measurements minus the, the, measurements mean, squared, the mean squared divided, by the, number divided by the number of measurements. In contrast, in, contrast, in R, in using R, scale or using per scale or per variation is calculated variation as, is calculated the, as measurements the measurements the minus the mean squared divided by the number, of measurements, by the number of measurements minus one. This method results, this method in, larger, results in larger but unbiased, but unbiased estimates of the variation. Of the, variation. The, good news the good news is that these differences, that these do, not differences do not affect the PCA analysis. The, PCA analysis. the loading scores and the, the, amount, of and the amount of variation per principal will component be the same will be the same either way. The bad news the is that, bad these, differences news is that these differences will have a minor effect on the final graph. This is because the this coordinates, because on, the final coordinates on the final graph come from multiplying, graph multiplying the loading scores, scores by, the scaled, by the scaled values. Now we create a PCA, we create object. A PCA object. Rather than just have a Rather function, than just have a function that does PCA and returns results, results. scikit-learn uses, scikit -learn uses, uses trained objects that can be trained using one data set and, data set and applied to another data set. Since we're only using PCA, we're only to, using explore PCA to explore set, one data set, and not using PCA, in, not using a PCA in a machine learning setting, the additional steps, the additional are, a steps are a little tedious, but they set us up for, the, the, machine us up for the machine learning that topics that I'll soon. be covering very soon. Then we call the fit, then method, call the fit on the method on the scaled data. This is where we do all, this the, is where PCA we do all the PCA math. We calculate, we calculate the loading scores and the variation, scores, and the each, variation principal each principal component accounts for. Lastly, this is where we generate, this is where we generate for coordinates for a PCA based graph on based on the loading and scores data. and the scaled data. Now we're ready to draw, now a, graph. Ready to draw a graph. We'll start with a screen we'll start plot, with a screen to, see plot to see how many principal should components go should plot. go into the final plot. The first thing we do, the first is, thing calculate we do the is calculate the percentage of variation that each principal, that each principal component accounts for. Now we create labels. Now we create labels for the screen plot. plot. These are PC1, PC2, etc. One, one label component. per principal component. Now we use mat now we use mat plot to create, lib a plot. to create a bar plot. And here's what the screen plot, looks, what the screen like. plot looks like annotation with all the fancy that annotation that we have using the y label, x label, and title methods. 
Almost all of the variation, all of the variation is along the first principal component. So a 2D graph using, using PC1 and PC2 should do a good job, should representing, a good job the representing the original data. To draw a PCA, to draw a PCA plot, we'll first put the new we'll coordinates, new created, coordinates by PCA created by PCA.transform of the scale data, data into a nice matrix where the rows have sample, rows have sample and labels columns have and the columns have PC labels. These commands draw, These commands scatter, draw scatter with plot the title and nice with the title and nice access labels. And this loop adds, and this sample, loop names adds sample names to the graph. Lastly, we, Lastly, display, the graph. we display the graph. There it is. There wow. it is. So wow. awesome. So awesome. Bam. Bam. The WT samples, the WT clustered, samples on the left side, clustered on the left side, suggesting that they are, suggesting correlated, that they with are correlated with each other. The KO samples, the clustered, KO samples on the right clustered on the right side, suggesting that they are, suggesting correlated, that they are correlated with each other. And the separation of, and the, the, separation two of the two clusters along the x axis suggests that the wild type samples are very different from the knockout samples. Lastly, Lastly, let's look at the loading let's scores for PC1 to determine which genes, to determine have, the which genes have the largest influence on separating the two clusters along the x axis. We'll start by creating we'll start a pandas, by creating series, a pandas object series object with the loading scores, the loading in, principal scores component in principal one. component 1. Note, the Note. principal components, the principal are, zero components are zero so index, PC1 so PC1 equals, equals zero. Now we sort the loading now we scores, sort the based, loading on scores based on their magnitude, aka, AKA we, take the absolute value. we take the absolute value. Here, we are just Here, getting the names, the top, getting the names 10 indexes, the top 10 indexes, which are the gene names. Which are the gene names. Lastly, we Lastly, print out the top 10 genes gene and their corresponding, and their loading, corresponding scores. loading scores. And this is what we get. And this is what we get. These values are super These values similar. Are super similar. So a lot of genes so played a, lot a role, of genes in, separating played a role in separating the rather samples than just one rather than two. just one or two. Double bam. Double bam. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. The thing that left the nose here ان هو البي سي اي كلها على بعضها سطر واحد كويس هي اصلا الفانكشن موجوده في سايكت ليرن او في كذا مكان يعني ثلاث اماكن زي ما هو قال كويس هي كلها سطر واحد لكن ايه اللي لفت نظرنا ان هو بيحضر الداتا في وقت طويل الحاجه الثانيه هو بيتكلم عن البوستو ديستريبيوشن هو حضر بيه الداتا وطبعا هو ما جابش داتا حقيقيه هو جاب داتا وهميه يعني هو عملها فعلشان كده واوي برضو بتفوكس احيانا على ايه على البروبابيلتي وده جزء اللي جاي ان شاء الله في الليكتشر بتاعتنا طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيبقى البي سي اي بالنسبه لنا اظن ايه الكلام ما فيه كفايه يعني هنا بقى الماتيماتكس بتاعه بس انا شايف طبعا ان هو بيبقى بورين جدا في السلايدز غير خالص الحمد لله الفيديوهات يعني ويا رب يكون موضوع الفيديوهات ده ان شاء الله يبقى كويس طيب جزء البروبابيلتي انا في اشكاليتين بالنسبه لي الحاجه الاولى ما لحقتش بصراحه احضره بالشكل بتاع اللينير الجبرا الحاجه الثانيه يعني اعتقد ان هو اغلبه كلكم عارفينه كويس ما فيش فيه لانه هو اصلا صغير وما فيش فيه حاجات كتير مختلفه يعني الاول هنا البروبابيلتي اصلا احنا شفنا بعينينا سبحان الله اكزامبل حالا هو بيجنريت الداتا اللي بيجرب بيها البي سي اي فهو طلعها بديستريبيوشن معين على حسب البروبلم اللي عندي بختار ديستريبيوشن مناسب ليا فهنا على سبيل المثال هيتكلم كمان شويه ان شاء الله بعض الديستريبيوشنز يعني فالبروبابيلتي ثيري بتسمح لي ان انا اتعامل مع الانسرتينتي هي دي الفكره فكرة انا عايز اتعامل مع حاجة انسرتن بالنسبة لي كويس فهتعامل معاها ازاي؟ probability theory كويس الانفورميشن theory آه ودي هشرحها ان شاء الله بالتفصيل ان شاء الله تعالى الانفورميشن theory الانفورميشن theory بقى بيحاول يفوكس ازاي يعمل quantify يقدر كمية الايه الانفورميشن اللي جوه الداتا دي انا هشرحها ان شاء الله بالتفصيل ما البروبابيلتي ايه هنجو ثرو ات كده وربنا يسر الامر من عنده ان شاء الله تعالى فيبقى البروبابيلتي ثيري بتسمح لي اتعامل مع الانسرتينتي كويس واحاول اعمل لها ريزونينج الانفورميشن ثيري بتسمح لي اعمل كوانتيفاي لكميه الاماونت اوف انسرتينتي اللي جوه الداتا كويس باستخدامها ايه بروبابيلتي ديستريبيوشنز عندي ثري بوسيبل سورسز اوف انسرتينتي يا اما انهيرنت ستوكاستيسيتي ان سيستم بينج موديل هي اصلا الداتا اصلا انا مش متاكد منها ان هي الداتا نفسها انسرتن يا اما ان كومبليت اوبزرفابيلتي انا ما اعرفش ما لاحظتش يعني الداتا لا الانفايرمنت حواليا كامله ومظبوطه وكده بس انا ما عملتش كومبليت اوبزرفيشن للانفايرمنت بتاعتي او ان الموديل بتاعي نفسه 
انسرتن uh, بيمس شويه انبوت مش متاكد في الـ في الكالكيوليشن uh, كده بيشتغل ازاي يبقى ال 3 سورسز يا اما الداتا نفسها هي اصلا الداتا نفسها انهيرنتلي فيها انسرتينتي يا اما انا ما عملتش اوبزرفيشن كويس يا اما الموديل بتاعه هو اللي هو اللي فيه مشكله هو اللي مش كامل يعني في الحقيقه ليه بحكي البروبابيلتي البروبابيلتي ثيري بتسمح لي ان اتعامل مع الانسرتين ستيتمنتس واعملها ريزنينج ان انا اقدر اتعامل معاها وانا بروسيسنج وكلام من ده وده شيء مهم لان احنا الباينري لوجيك اللي بنتعلمه في سنه اولى انا اسف يعني نسينا الانسرتينتي كويس ولو انت جيت تبص في الحقيقه الدنيا حواليك حوالينا كلها الانسرتينتي بنسبه عاليه جدا يعني كويس يعني سبحان الملك يعني سبحان الله فانا عندي انسرتينتي زي ما قلنا بقى يا اما هي يا اما هي لوس يعني انكومبليت اوبزرفيشن يا اما هي انكومبليت موديل يا اما هي ايه اصلا انهيرتنت في في الحاجه يعني دي نفس السلايد بتكرر تاني ما خدتش بالي بس ماشي الراندم تيست عارفينه كويس ان الراندم تيست هو تيست بيكون له 3 كاركترستكس بسميه راندم تيست اللي هو عنده ثلاث حاجات دول كان بي ريبيتد اندر ذا سيم كونديشن يبقى عندي اكتر من 1 ريزلت فور ايتش تيست واول بوسيبل ريزلتس كان بي سبيسيفايد ان ادفانس انا عارف ريزلتس من قدما يعني زي ما لكم كتابه في الكوين كوين فليبنج ده تيست او وان انا قبل التيست اقدر احدد ايه ريزلتس هتابير كويس انا عندي يا اما ملك يا اما كتابه دي ريزلتس اللي هي ايه اللي هي موجوده عندي يعني اعتقد هنا تاني الرقم تاني ات كان بي ريبيتد اندر ذا سيم كونديشن ذير مي بي مور ذان وان ريزلت اوف ايتش تيست اند اول بوسيبل ريزلتس اوف ذا تيست كان بي سبيسيفايد ان ادفانس ان ادفانس مقدما ابقى عارف كل النتائج اللي ممكن تطلع عندي كويس واكون قادر احدد لما اعمل التيست ايه اللي هيطلع لي بالظبط فتوست تو كوينز اي ارمي اثنين كوينز يطلع لي ملك او كتابه كويس او ايه او الدايس اللي, اللي انتوا عارفينه يعني طيب شويه كونسبتس كده في البروبابيلتي كونسبتس فيري بريميتيف يعني فيري بيزك سامبل بوينت ايتش بوسيبل ريزلت اوف ا راندوم تيست بقول عليها سامبل بوينت وحطها سامبل بقى في الجراف بتاعي او في الداتا او ايا كان قول لي يا مريم اتفضلي سؤالك اولا شكرا يا مريم على مشاركتك يعني في الحقيقه وانا مقدر طبعا اللي حضرتك بتقوليه لكن للاسف احنا ملتزمين بالتايم لاين بتاع الكورس الكورس خمس ايام كويس فما اقدرش ازود عن خمس ايام دي حاجه الحاجه الثانيه ده النهارده يوم سهل كويس ربنا يسهلها من عنده سبحانه وتعالى لكن سدين حصل النهارده يوم سهل النهارده يوم سهل الحمد لله وشكرا لله كويس هو اللي جاي هيكون اقل في الكونتنت تمام هو انا انا عندي مشكله مع هواوي ازاي بس يا مريم هنميوت الميكروفون بعد اذنك آه شكرا جزيلا آه المشكله هو فعلا كبروا قوي الكونتنت بتاع الماث انا عارف حلو فهو سهل ليه لان انتوا عارفين ال... انتوا عارفين بروبابيلتي على الاقل والجيبر عارفين فيها كويس جدا يعني ف آه هو سهل ان شاء الله آه فمعلش انا مش هسمع كلام حضرتك آه انا هكمل ان شاء الله لان فعلا يعني الكم اللي جاي آه محتاج نكمل النهارده ان شاء الله بلس ان الحمد لله الفيديو موجود ان شاء الله ممكن تتفرجي عليه مره واثنين وثلاثه بعد كده هتلحقي ان شاء الله لكن موضوع الخمس ايام ده هو اللي ايه هو اللي بيضغطنا ف مش بايدي وكانت محاوله طيبه يعني بس للاسف ايه فشلت شكرا جزيلا. طيب نرجع تاني البيزك كونسبتس المهم يا تكون جيب فايده هي دي اهم حاجه يعني يا رب يا رب البيزك البيزك كونسبت بقى السامبل بوينت هي بالنسبه لي ايه اي اي بوسيبل ريزلت من الراندم تيست بعتبرها سامبل بوينت بريبرزنتد بالسيمبل اسمه ايه السامبل سبيس هو كوليكشن اوف اول بوسيبل ريزلتس اوف راندم تيست represented by s sample space e1 e2 لغايه e n random variables event اي subset من السامبل سبيس s لو سامبل بوينت اوف ايفنت a دي بتحصل معناه ان ايفنت a حصل 
كويس آه وانا بختار آه راندملي كلمه راندملي معناها ان ايه بختار عشوائي كويس وجاي معانا ان شاء الله كمان شويه كونديشن بروبابيلتي آه وحاجه كمان كده طيب كلمه فريكوانسي معناها ان اندر ذا سيم كونديشنز لما اعمل التستس فور ان تايمز الاوكيرنس اوف ايفنت اي از كولد ذا فريكوانسي اوف ايفنت اي كويس في الاغلب ان بيكون الريشيو ان اوف اي على ان اوكيرنس بروبابيلتي اوف ايفنت اي ودي بسميها بعمل لها ريكورد اللي بتكون بالاسم فانكشن اوف اي الكلام ده كله انا عارف انكم عارفينه انا عشان كده بس ايه بمر عليه سريعا وخصوصا كلام مريم ياثر فيكم يعني هي اصلا عارفه الكلام ده كويس ما شاء الله كده كده في بريك اصلا العصر كمان 10 دقائق بالظبط هناخد بريك هتقعدوني ايه احسن كتير ان شاء الله تعالى بس في فريكوانسي اندر سيم كونديشنز لو عملت التست ان تايمز هو الاوكيرنس اوف ايفنت اي اس كول الفريكوانسي اوف ايفنت اي بجيب التايمز اللي ايه حصلت فيها على التوتال تايمز بروبابيلتي سبوز بان انا عندي اي راندم تيست اس از ذا سامبل سبيس اساين ريل نمبر بروبابيلتي اوف اي او ايفنت بروبابيلتي اون ايتش ايفنت فانا عندي لكل ايفنتس اللي بتحصل عندي احنا عارفين المفروض ان مجموع الايفنتس كلها يكون بواحد كويس ف الست فانكشن بي اوف استريسك ماست ميت ذا فولوينج كونديشن زي ما قلنا ان النان نان نيجاتيف يكون فور ايتش ايفنت اي البروبابيلتي اوف الايفنت اي ده اكبر من او يساوي صفر او اقل من او يساوي واحد إيه وتكون ستاندرد يكون البروبابيلتي اوف السامبل سبيس كلها المفروض يكون سميشن يعني بيساوي واحد الكاونتبل اديتيفيتي ايفنتس انكومباتبل وذ ايتش اذر فبالتالي لو الايفنتس انكومباتبل وذ ايتش اذر انكومباتبل دي غريبه شويه ممكن نقول اندبندنت مثلا عن 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 بعضهم يعني الله المستعان طبعا دي يا شباب نتيجه الترجمه اللي هي بتكون ايه؟ الترجمه بتكون حرفيا من من تنسليت ماشيين او اي او حاجه زي كده يعني كويس؟ طبعا احنا ايه بن... طبعا لما تبقى حضرتك عارف حاجه من قبل كده وعارف ان هي صح بتكمل اللي عملتها عارفه ان شاء الله يعني. ااا إيه... بقول البروبابيلتي اي 1 يونيون اي 2 يونيون اي ان بتساوي بروبابيلتي اوف اي 1 زائد اي 2 زائد اي 3 وهكذا. طبعا لو ايه لو هم ما بيحصلوش معارض في نفس الوقت اللي هو الايه لو تقاطعهم إيه بفاي. راندم فاريبل هو سنجل ريال فاليود فانكشن بيريبريزنت راندم تيست اوف فاريس ريزالتس اكزامبل لل راندم فاريبل لو انا عندي راندم تيست اي 4 فانا رميت العملتين كويس معدنيتين وشفت المجموع بتاع الريزالت بتاعهم فالسامبل سبيس اوف ذا تيست الاس بتساوي اي اي وجي الاي وجي بتساوي 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 دي I indicates اه ده ظهر تو دايس انا اسف مش عملتين ده ظهر اللي هو بتاع الطاوله وكده كويس فانا عندي ايه السامبل سبيس بتاعتي ايه من واحد الى سته فانا رميت ظهرين مع بعض كويس فالاي والجي الاي انديكيتس فيرست اوت كام والجي انديكيتس السكند اوت كام بتاع الظهرين منفصلين عن بعض فممكن يبقى الاثنين واحد واحد الاثنين اثنين واثنين وهكذا فالاكس الاكس اوف اي الاكس اوف اي وجي المهم يعني ان هي ايه؟ المفروض ان هي تبقى البروبابيلتي لكل واحده في الواحد زي البروبابيلتي اوف اي مره ثانيه للظهر الثاني يعني. راندم تيست اي واحد ارمي بقى تو كوينز وتشيك الاوت كام بالظبط كده فالبروبابيلتي هتبقى عندي ايه؟ هتبقى عندي بقى صفر صفر واي واحد واي اثنين واي الله المستعان لا طبعا هي واحد واثنين واحد كويس واحد ان يطلع عندي هيد وراه هيد اثنين يطلع عندي تيل وراه تيل وهنا اثنين ان يطلع عندي هيد وراه تيل او تيل وراه هيد كويس انا الحين مش متاكد ايه ايه صفر واحد واثنين دي طيب وانا هون ايه زي ما بقول لك كده البروبيت ديستريبيوشنز مش مهم قوي بالنسبه لنا تعالى ناخد فيديو جميل كده الفيديو ده صغير جدا لكن بصراحه انا شايف ان هو ايه مهم قوي في البروبيت ديستريبيوشنز من الاخر يعني هو بقى السلايدز بتاعها مليون مره Hi and welcome. We at 365 Data Science specialize in data science trainings. We post videos weekly so you can master indispensable skills for free. All right, let's get started. Hello again. In this lecture, we are going to talk about various types of probability distributions and what kind of events they can be used to describe. Certain distributions share features, so we group them into types. Some like rolling a die or picking a card have a finite number of outcomes. They follow discrete distributions. 
Others like recording, Others time, like recording and time and distance in track and field have infinitely many outcomes. Many outcomes. They, follow they follow continuous distributions. distributions. We are going to examine, going to examine the characteristics of some of the most, of common, of the most common distributions. For each one, For each we, will one on we will focus on an important aspect, aspect of it, or when it is or used. Before we get into the specifics, you will need to know the proper notation we implement when defining distributions. We start off by writing down the variable name for our set of values, followed by the tilde sign. This is superseded by a capital letter depicting the type of the distribution and some characteristics of the data set in parentheses. The characteristics are usually mean and variance, but they may vary depending on the type of the distribution. All right, let us start by talking, us start about, by the talking about the discrete ones. We will give an overview, will give an overview of them, and then we will, then we will devote a separate lecture to each one. So, we, so, looked, at we looked at problems relating to drawing cards from a deck or, a deck or flipping a coin. Both examples, Both examples show, events show events where all outcomes are equally, are equally likely. Such outcomes are called equiprobable, and these sorts of events follow a uniform distribution. Then, there are events with only two possible outcomes. Or True false. or false. They follow a Bernoulli, they follow a Bernoulli distribution. Regardless of whether, Regardless one, of whether one outcome is more likely to occur, any event with, any two, event outcomes with two outcomes can be transformed into a Bernoulli event. Bernoulli event. We simply assign, we one, simply of assign one of them to be true and the other one to, and the other one to be false. Imagine, Imagine we are required to elect a captain for our college sports team. The team consists, the team of, consists seven of seven native, native students and three international, and three international students. students. We assign the captain, being, assign the domestic captain being domestic to be true, and the captain being, and the captain being an international as false. Since the outcome can, now, the outcome only can now only be true or false, we have a Bernoulli, we have a Bernoulli distribution. Now, if we carry now, out a similar experiment several, several times in a row, we are dealing with a binomial distribution. Just like, the Bernoulli, Just like the Bernoulli distribution, the outcomes for each iteration are two, but we have many iterations. We have many iterations. For example, for example, we could be flipping the coin we mentioned earlier three times and trying to calculate the likelihood of getting heads twice. Lastly, we should mention the Poisson distribution. We used it when we want to test out how unusual an event frequency is for a given interval. For example, imagine we know that so far LeBron James has averaged 35 points per game during the regular season. We want to know how likely it is that he will score 12 points in the first quarter of his next game. Since the frequency changes, so should our expectations for the outcome. Using the Poisson, using the Poisson distribution, distribution, we are able to determine, able to determine the chance of LeBron scoring exactly 12, exactly 12 points for the specified time interval. Great. Now Great. on to the continuous, on to the continuous distributions. distributions. One, thing remember, One thing to remember is that since we are, is that since continuous we are dealing outcomes, with continuous outcomes, the probability, the probability distribution would be a curve as opposed to, as opposed to unconnected, unconnected individual, individual bars. The first, one we, the first one we will talk about is the normal distribution. Normal distribution. The outcomes of many, the outcomes events, of many in events in nature closely resemble this distribution, this distribution. hence the name hence normal. The name normal. For instance, For instance, according, according to numerous reports, reports throughout the last few decades, the weight of an adult, male, adult male polar bear is usually around 500 kilograms. However, there have been records of individual species weighing anywhere between 350 kilograms and 700 kilograms. Extreme values like 350 and 700 are called outliers and do not feature very frequently in normal distributions. Sometimes, we, Sometimes have data, we have limited data for events that resemble a normal distribution. In those cases, in those we, cases observe we observe the student's t distribution. It serves as a small sample approximation of a normal distribution. Of a normal distribution. Another difference is, Another difference the, student's is the student's t accommodates, t accommodates extreme values, extreme values significantly better. Graphically, Graphically, that is represented by the curve, by the curve having, fatter having fatter tails. Overall, this, Overall, results, in this results in a larger number of values located, located far, away far away from the mean. So the curve would probably, so the curve more, would probably resemble more closely a resemble a student's t distribution, t distribution than, a distribution. than a normal distribution. Now, imagine, now, only, imagine looking only looking at the recorded weights of the last 10 sightings, across, sightings across, across Alaska and Canada. The lower the lower number of elements would make the occurrence of any extreme value represent a much bigger part of the population than it should. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone.
Another continuous distribution, Another continuous we, would distribution like we would like to introduce is the chi-squared chi -squared distribution. It is the first asymmetric, is the first asymmetric, asymmetric continuous, continuous distribution we are dealing with, as it only with, consists of non-negative non values. Graphically, Graphically, that means that the chi-squared chi -squared distribution always starts from, always starts from on zero on the, left. on the left. Depending on the average and maximum values within the set, the curve of the chi-squared chi graph is typically skewed to the left. left. Unlike the, previous two, Unlike the previous two distributions, the chi-squared does, chi does not often real mirror real-life events. However, it is often it is used in hypothesis testing to help determine goodness, help determine goodness of fit. The next distribution on the next our distribution list, is, on our list distribution. is the exponential distribution. The exponential, the exponential distribution is usually when present when we are dealing with events that are rapidly, changing, rapidly changing, changing early on. An easy-to-understand easy example how is how online news articles, articles generate hits. They get most of their clicks, they get most when, the of their clicks when the topic is still fresh. The more time passes, the more, time the more, passes, irrelevant, it the more becomes, irrelevant it becomes, and interest becomes, dies and off. The last continuous, the last continuous distribution we will mention is the logistic distribution. We often find it useful in forecast analysis when we try to determine a cutoff point for a successful outcome. For instance, take a competitive esport e e like Dota 2. We can use a logistic we distribution to determine, to determine how much of an in-game advantage at the 10-minute mark is necessary to confidently predict, to confidently predict for victory for either team. Just like with other types, of, like with other types of forecasting, our predictions, our predictions would, never would never reach true certainty. If you found this video, interesting, you found this video and interesting and want to gain an edge in your career, طيب الارتكل دي كويسة هي مش مش required يعني كويس بس هي ايه بتشرح بقى اللي هو قاله من شوية ده في اكزامبلز عملي اكتر بتشرح الستة من نوم يعني حلو اللي هما بيرنولي ويونيفورم وبينوميال ونورمال وبوسون اكسبونينشيال هنا بقى نبدأ دكتور هي الفيديوهات دي كلها موجودة؟ اه كلها اللينكات دي الحمد لله شكرا لله اللينكات موجودة كلها في ال اه في التفل كلها اكيد ومتسجلة مع المحاضرة الحمد لله يعني جوه المحاضرة موجودة لو في كومنت كنا قلناها كل اللينكات كلها موجودة اصلا في ال في الكولية بالحمد لله والشكر لله أنا عارف المحاضرة تحتاج منكم أكتر من مرة تشوفوها إن شاء الله وكده فتلاقوش يعني إن شاء الله تعالى ديكم التسجيل وأجيب لكم الإيه الحاجة بتاعتكم طيب سواني كده بعد إذنكم بسم الله بسم الله طيب تمام السلام عليكم صور كده أنا في الحقيقة كان معنا البشمان أحمد يوسف رمضان من هواوي كان بيتصل فكان نفسي يخش يتكلم معكم شوية كده في ال في ال في يعني في الأوبورتينيز برضو وال 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 والإليتس وكده كان وعطاه أنا كان في ميتنج وكان مطار يستأذن هنبدأ البريك بتاعنا إن شاء الله على طول دلوقتي ونرجع إن شاء الله الساعة أربعة نرجع إن شاء الله الساعة أربعة والناس ترجع إن شاء الله ماشي شوفوا لكم على خير إن شاء الله الساعة أربعة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته